Anytime I'm on a boat, anytime. I mean, I think it was implanted when I went to Disney as a kid and did the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but any single time I'm on a boat, I'm on a ship, whatever it is, I either start singing I'm on a boat by Lonely Island or Pirates of the Caribbean. It's never anything else. Or no, that's not true. Sometimes I pull out a sea shanty. I cannot be helped with that, okay? If you saw the end of the last video, then you know, or two videos ago. <laughs> What am I doing? Oh. All right, ignore that awkward intro. Guys, welcome back into the channel for another episode of Final Fantasy 16. And I keep saying, hopefully, I want you guys to know that I'm not rushing to end this game or anything. I just want to make sure that I am kind of giving you guys consumable videos and not, look, everybody, if you were here for God of War, that turned into almost 30 episodes. <laughs> so I'm trying to make them a little bit longer so maybe we can complete it in the next couple episodes. But every single time I think we're getting towards the end, there's like two more mountains beyond it um and which I love I love it it's just been an unpredictable turn of events but anyways guys if y'all are new here welcome in again coming in at a little bit late in the storyline but I totally get it if you guys are not new here then you know we're picking up by getting back on the ship with mid we do have a couple side missions at the hideaway but I think those will still be there when we get back so we're just gonna head into main mission finally I hope you guys enjoy this next episode to Naldia Narrow. Blessed with mild currents and warm waters, the Narrow allows for swift travel to the Dominion, Oriflam. Am I still saying that wrong? Stone here without having to circle through the dangerous outer seas. You guys know how much I love water. I didn't realize that she gave them red and black sails, but it feels fitting. It's like a really pretty contrast. Here in Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Zemeckis. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mm. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Don't feel like I may see legs yet. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Really? We caught up already? When did she get so proficient in sailing? And I know she's an engineer, but still. Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Dang. Do you feel that, Jill? They have Let's so many more sails. Can do. A sea battle? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, look at all their sails. They are rocking the killer side boat. Oh. Where one leads. So does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. His armor. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Hmm. He does have a really good dialogue. I feel like it's um... But then, there is naught my blade cannot sever. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna see that in dodge there? Great Grigos, yes! No way, she can turn it that fast? This is gonna be the coolest part of the game for me. One of us. Yeah. Also, do we have a lot of fighters on board? All we need is a Kraken to make this just a little bit better. He can just fly? Okay. He's not semi-primed, is he? Oh, yes. Dang, we're at full speed. Oh. 
Are we made for charging them like that? Time to go. It's now or never. I'll find her. I mean, how many people did he have aboard to begin with? He must not even have that many. Oh, shh. Joshua. I still feel like Joshua is not strong enough for this. Yeah, so he did semi-prime. Yeah. <clears throat> Joshua. It's funny, when he's semi-primed, he looks way younger than he actually is, because I think it just reminds us of the beginning. I love the blue contrast to the red. The blue and red looks really nice. All right. Through the maelstrom. Hmm? What did you oh, what am I doing? Hold on. I don't even know if he was intentionally trying to hide. All right, let's cast this. We have to get Jill back ASAP. Also, have I leveled up my Garudas? I don't think I have. Love a good Garuda grab. Uh, new enemies. All right, switch to Garuda again, and then let's do some lightning on here. So nice. Come here. Oh, I couldn't pick him up in the air. Who's protecting? Find the protector. It's not him. There he is. Yes. The Gandalf. Oh, shoot. I missed him. I missed him. I missed him. I missed him. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Nice. All right, I'm just going to cast that one. I need to use magic against him, so I'm trying to think. Nice, that'll work. Perfect. This ship feels so much larger than it actually is. You know what I mean? Like, when you're looking at it in the cutscenes, it looks so small. But when you're actually standing on top of it, whoa. Oh, one of these guys again. All right. That's not a good move to use against him because he's so mobile. Yeah, ration. Ration. All right, cast this real quick. You know what? Let's actually go ahead and do Wings of Light. Just because I think we'll be able to evade him. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, I didn't get Deadly Embrace. No. Ow, 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 ow. Go, Torgo. Huh. Nice. There's one. Woo. Nice. There's three. Cast that. Ow! Just be mad. He's almost gone. Ow. You can't grab him like ever. Oh, nice precision dodge. Staggered. There we go. Get him. Kill him with thunder. The raw damage on that. Sick him, Torgo. My wounds, boy. Alright, that should kill him. Alright, leave him be. Nice. Ability finish on that, too. Wow, this guy. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I think since we're headed out, we are, yeah, the cloud coverage isn't happening. The, um, oh, what is it called? I'll think of it. Let me see real quick, too. Does his, yeah, I feel like let me read on his ship real quick. The NHR. The flagship of the Waluder Navy, also known as the Black Galleon, is a vast seven-masted vessel constructed of three conjoined galleys and could aptly be described as a floating fortress. Alongside the Royal Cavalry, it is the pride of Walud and is capable of swiftly delivering elite troops into onto enemy soil to make war in the name of the mighty Odin. Jill was kept prisoner here after being captured by King Barnabas for a very short amount of time. And the Enterprise, the Hideaway's mithril engine-powered flagship designed by the father and daughter team of Sidolphus and mid uh, Telamon to serve as the last hope for humanity should all of Valisthea be lost to the Blight. And constructed in secret in the ironworks on the outskirts of Camver, 
The mithril, which uh, with which it is fueled, is a highly concentrated source of energy, allowing the ship to achieve speeds thrice that of the galleon at full mast. Um, let me know down below. I cannot for the life of me remember why ships' names are specifically italicized. I remember learning it as a kid, and I can't remember. I, it reminds me, like, seeing the seven masted and stuff. There was this... Um, ship game that you could go to like um i don't know like if you ever had a game store near your hometown or something and it would come in a, like a pack of cards basically it would come like a deck of cards but they were like flat and then you would construct these little model ships and i can never remember the name of it and you would collect all these different pieces and you'd play against other people and it was such a fun game i still have my kit too like, I remember having a kraken, like, you could get sea creatures and monsters as well. And I had the Black Pearl, like, the Black Pearl was one of the ships. It was so cool. I feel like it maybe was just called the Pirates. Alright, where am I headed? Let's grab this real quick. The music here, too. I mean, I like how industrial the ship looks, you know? It's not too detailed. Am I going down into the basement on the knees? Is that a door? What am I missing here? Uh, has to be one of these latches, right? No, we have to get on the main ship. Uh, any sense of direction, please? Is it in the main area? Oh no. Did it show me and I just missed it? Was it over here? Oh my gosh, it was right here. I could not see that. I walked past it like three times too. I think it's because we went to the other side. A decant. Oh gosh. I honestly didn't expect to see people working the ship. I guess I just thought we would find fighters. Yeah. This is cool. But if we were down below, we didn't see Joe. He's on their ship. Oh no. Joshua. Also, how much does it impact him that he has Ultima locked inside of him, you know? He knows what he says. Hold on. I'm coming. We need to get Jill and get the heck out of here. We could definitely use her ability, too. I wonder if she even has Shiva anymore. Like, what did he do to her? Nice. Oh. I do like their armor sets. Like, the bit of blue with the yellow. It's a nice combination. But yeah, look at this ship. Oh, he's a beefy boy. Nice. I'm like trying to watch the ship while I'm attacking him. Look at all of the weapons and the wood paneling. Big boy, by the way. Alright, I need to remember that. Oh, let's use that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, big boy. Let me try to stay near him because I can get... Oh, I should be able to get Mega Flares. Nice. I want to get Mega Flare 4 so I can kill up. Ah! There we go. Okay, it works, it works, it works. Nice. Alright, let's disengage from him and go fight this guy. And then go back to this guy. Alright, kill him fast. Ow. Not a good idea. Alright, I need to get Garuda ready. Nice. Not a good 
double swing. Nice. Garuda, Garuda takedown. A royal. I'm not even gonna try to butcher these names, y'all. I just feel like I do it a disservice. Run away! There we go. All right, we got him staggered. Let's go ahead and limit break to get our health back, and then also do this while we're limit broke. Come on, sick and Torgo. I'm just gonna let them pop over here when they want to. Nice. All right, that was good damage. Wah! Nice. Dodge into oh, the back to back. What is that? I don't know what that is. All right, let me pass this. The music's well done here. Like it feels piratey. Or just like C U S. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, that guy's dead. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Garuda, Garuda, Garuda. Nice. And then finish him with a lightning bolt. Gone. Nice. She must be here somewhere. Weren't we already below deck? Maybe he had her... I don't know, I guess in the back below deck? I feel like the whole below deck would be the same, right? Yeah, because we came from over there. I guess they are separate compartments. There's a lot of staffs. A lot of weapons. Where are the food storages? I do like the way that they did the stairs. The stairs are really cool. Yeah, he had her all the way down. The deckhands. Oh, we got Earth and Fury, by the way. Wait, why are all of these men dead, though? I don't understand. There were dead people in her cage as well. Oh no. Alright, cast this. Electricity and water, what could go wrong? This might take a while. It's over. Alright. Cast this. Nice. Bye bye. All right, Jill, I'm here. Jill, you came. Of course. Get back. Uh. Uh. Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Hands. Good point. That's love, Clive. <laughs> Everybody always trying to have a full conversation when it's not the time. Can you walk? Out of here, I can. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> All right, we have to hurry. Why are we under attack? Odin just landed, didn't he? Stand still. Mm. No, I hit it, didn't I? Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. It's the red and black for me. He went back to his ship, didn't he? No, he didn't. Oh, he fully primed. He is in so much control of it. Like, he does it so effortlessly. In honest, then. Joshua. It's cracking his shield. <gasps> it's a proper misting right there. Oh, no way. It created a crevice.
because it's a sea fight without an eternal pit of doom. Oh no. Oh, that's bad news. Bad news bears. I'm assuming we got out, right? Can't give me a black screen like that? Oh my gosh. No way. I just figured it was, I, I didn't realize that it went all the way down to the ocean floor. I was picturing like Pirates of the Caribbean, like this doom circle tornado kind of thing. Or whirlwind, whirlpool. There we go, right word. They did not have seatbelts or anything either. I think so. That had to have been a shake, rattle, and roll. What if it, like, how do you know it's not going to collapse at some point? Oh, there, oh. How about to, to where? <laughs> Is this going to always be here like the circle pit was? he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, <sighs> and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Oh, what a line. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the mother crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. But for what end? Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Mm -hmm. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. I do like that though. Blind resolve. <sighs> now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. Oh no. However much it may hurt. Oh, we'll become hither. Get as far away as you can. Yeah. Clive, no. You can't help me this time. Trust me, Jill. Look at his expression in his eyes. Oh, my heart. Eyes, it's all about eyebrows. Oh my gosh, all right. We don't have oh, to do this. okay. What do we got? Oh, Alright, let me just see. I gotta mess around and see. Okay. You of your duty. So we have like a little pushy move. He has a circle thing. Okay. In the short time since our nice. last okay. meeting, you have grown much. It's as a vessel. I fear my lord will still find you. <gasps> Okay, he doesn't have any follow-up attacks after that. Well, kind of does. I'm actually going to do a lot of this by not using my special abilities because I want to see... I've got to learn it first. All this Ow. fire and fury. And for what? Stop okay. the blight. A foolish notion fed to you. Well, let's see. Foolish man. How?
how will the Blight continue how to press on? You? Is the Blight really you a... No north of this world, nor of our yeah. place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, yeah. we would all be gods. Ooh, that, I mean, it's an interesting thought. Yeah. But I feel like he's kind of right. I don't know. It's a big old question of fate, right? Getting hit by that one specifically. Nice. Oh, uh, guys, he was still able to cast that while I was trying to. Wait, what? Normally. What? <gasps> he has like a similar move, right? Doesn't he kind of have a similar move where he can do like this quick evade? Nice. I'm not using like anything else. Hold on. Come on. Ready and iron. I I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Uh, I'm so terrified. Ah! Uh, <laughs> How are you supposed to stop that before he readies it? He's gonna get it. Uh, in, in five? There's no way I can get up enough damage on that. Four? I, uh, there, there's no way. I just have to get out. And thus is the light of hope severed. I don't think you're meant to finish that. Like, I, I think that was scripted. You would yield so soon. Never. I like... Don't know. Not see. Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominant? So broad. The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. Hmm. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. That's not true. The power we wield is his. And yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. Because maybe we're not supposed us. to have it. It unmakes us that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Hmm. The burden is heavy. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. Um. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, mm. but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? 
Why loyal servants to God? We turn maybe because <gasps> they turned to magic before. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to mm. madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? Hmm. And abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of oh. your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Jill. <sighs> Clive! No. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. They have not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. We gotta go right now. There's Ash no is not far. I could freeze a path. What? You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> no. Oh, gosh. <sighs> okay, it is enough. That's so... Don't look back! <gasps> that was so cool! Clive Bestin. Clive Bested. What? That's the first time we've ever seen that. But we got experience from being bested because you learn from your failures too. Holy cow. Um, I just feel like there's... I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of cool to see it all come together and be like laid out in front of you like that. And then it was really nice to have Clive kind of like translate it for us too. But Barnabas's character, just how they created him as a villain, working for this other villain, right? Like working for, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on his name right now. I, Ultima. It's so cool. Like just his dialogue versus how he carries himself, his quick and easy like way to like transform himself. Um, but I don't know, like all of this, right? So how long, I gotta go back into like, how long have Dominance been around for? And was this like Ultima's will the whole time? Was he always seeking the mythos? And just uh, up until Clive, nobody had really been born that had the capability that Clive has. I just, I have so many more questions. Will of Light, Impulse, um, increases Impulse by 10%, which is fine. Wow. I'm constantly amazed by how they push the boundaries in this game. And just the... Oh, we're on Ash now. And we made it. But at what cost? Uh, the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice. Oh? Where it led. We need only wait till dawn. Torgo, look away, buddy. <laughs> I guess they need to dry their clothes. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. How could you say that? Only you won't do that. 
The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnum have said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. No. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you though? So? Yeah, I was like, I don't believe that. Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. Only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? So used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? Oh no, he's starting to question what himself. If it's all I'm good for. No. It was like a weird, really weird, like You're still that same boy I grew slap. up with. Slap. I don't know. most of all you Clive you you never once took the time to save yourself myself I think I might be beyond saving no one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do, what you've always done. I think this may be one of my favorite dialogues from her. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. She's gonna give Shiva. No. Jill. Are you sure? This is what you want, then. There was no second guessing there. He was like, oh, you said it once? Okay. <laughs> it is. Aww. So eager to help others around you, but yet you're so alone. This burden. I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. No. <laughs> I carry my sins, my pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. scene <laughs> nighttime as always <laughs> that doesn't change but I actually like that too because I feel like it just adds to how sentimental and sweet it is when they have these like I mean it makes sense right you're not gonna have these sentimental conversations in the middle of like the daytime fighting and all of these things so it makes sense why they're like it most intimate moments are at night I 
miss you, Jill. <laughs> we will find a way <laughs> to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. Go on and kiss the girl. <laughs> I'm always gonna be the frog on the boat. Ah. <laughs> uh. What a powerful we might one day look upon the moon again together. Oh. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there no matter what you must become. I know. Oh. A little smile. <laughs> I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. <gasps> there we go. Finally, all my moments. Oh, that was really cool. And it's just awesome to see that. I don't know. It's awesome to see that he got an icon without taking it you know like she gave her icon to him i didn't even know that you could like willingly give it i mean i don't think when we took sids he knew right like it wasn't this like willingness it's so incredible to me that you can give it away I always looked at it as this thing that was yours until, but I think it's because so many cling to it, like so many dominants, they can't imagine a life without it. So that speaks to Jill's strength too. Like she is incredibly strong to be willing to give this. Oh, <laughs> that was such a tender moment. Where's Torgal? Oh, there he is. He's like, I was passed out. I didn't see anything. I didn't do it. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Mm. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Oh, I love that. That's so true. Besides, there is something we must do first. What is that? Of course. The last mother crystal. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Ein Herja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. That's true. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. To Otto! Then let's go home and find one. I'm so glad I waited to do the side quests. That Ash was a good time. Have to wait. <gasps> Come on, Torgal. Oh, but we were so close. We were standing on Ash soil. Wait, what's that green light? Oh no, I think it was just from the side. The promise. Oh, so good. But now we have a, maybe like a, I guess we'll probably not come back here specifically, but wow, such a powerful sequence of events. I mean, they've pretty much given us everything, right? We were basically fighting in space against uh, Bahamut. Now we had a sea fight. What is next? We've been amongst the stars. We've swam with the fish. I guess we've frozen the fish, but we've been through here. I don't know, we've been in deserts, we've been, in forest areas like every single biome i feel like we've hit at this point i am curious to see how walud is because you don't technically see the, how the like land is from here it all almost looks like desert but i do want to know exactly how walud's gonna look like like the kingdom of walud mm. and i guess you can't really exactly sail up here i wonder how we're gonna approach it 
just trying to think like what our plan of attack could be. I mean, we could still come up through here, but that's a long journey, you know? Could we, is it as simple as going up here and then sailing across here? This seems, there must be something about this strip right here that makes it incredibly difficult because otherwise I feel like they would be trying to approach from there, no? Also, I want to know if that mother crystal, like, I'm assuming these are natural rock formations, but that just so happened to be like that, that's kind of incredible. I guess when the mother crystal was formed, maybe that happened. All right, back to the hideaway, you guys. A lot has happened. It seems like we have another icon, right? So that's how we got Shiva's icon, which I kind of talked about earlier in this series. I think I did talk about how I was hoping and just praying that we wouldn't be getting Jill's icon, but from her death. And so I just want to say it one more time that it is a true testament of Jill as a character. I kind of have told you too that I feel like she's kind of taken this backseat for a lot of the game. And I thought that when we took out the Mother Crystal over here that she was going to kind of reclaim that. And I think she did step into the limelight a little bit. And again, you can be a supporting character and still be one of the strongest characters. Dion, in the case of my personal playthrough, I think Dion, although he's a supporting character, he is an incredibly strong character. Jill, I think she is a great character, but it isn't until this exact moment that I think I realized just how strong she is. I mean, in mind, will, and body to be able to give away this gift, right? This gift or this curse. I mean, essentially a curse. We also do now have the confirmed answer that we can cast our icons and not have that same bearing that other dominants have because we are this um, vessel or mythos, whatever, whatever it is specifically. I'd love to know what like, is it the body as a whole? Is it how I am as a character? Is it because I'm being claimed as mythos that like, how specifically does it work that I'm not able or I'm not like receiving the pain and the misery of casting and transforming? Because there have been times where it weakens me. Like we do see that it still costs me a little bit, but not nearly the same as other dominants. All right, to the hideaway and then we'll see, we might, yeah, I think we'll do the side quest for a little bit here. I wonder if we'll get more side quests too. Otto, I told you guys, I said Otto. Reed says Odin's Man with the plan. Seeing too. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. <laughs> I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. Mm -mm. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjah, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. Yes, okay. I'm sure that's wise. Yes. Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Sorry. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Mm -hmm. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Aww. Across the narrow. I'm sure the game will tell us exactly when we are kind of reaching endgame, and then you should kind of clear up all your quests if you want to. Okay, here it is. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Attuning with Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows several access to new iconic abilities such as Ice Age. Abilities are found. Shiva's feet. All right. Her iconic feet, Cold Snap, can be used to swiftly move left and right forward. Ooh. I should visit right, Joshua. I like that. Assuming Tai will allow it. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, lots of side missions. All right. Lots and lots of side missions. So, y'all, if y'all are looking for main story progression, I am going to visit the infirmary to see Joshua here real quick. But then we're going to be doing um, all manner of side quests, all big and small. And we have Alliant reports too, across the realm. Let's go see Joshua first. All right, he's fine though. That's the most important part. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Mm. And what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. 
Yet still, it was not enough. The king could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. You, you underestimate yourself. Oh, mm. it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. But that's fine. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... <laughs> I have never felt so powerless, and when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Uh. By the way, yes, meanwhile, Dion, the Crystalline Dominion, Dion, Nameless Slum, Ah. Uh. Memorial. So many lost. So many lives. I know. I to stop thirsting over Dion. This medicine girl. this place you're awake don't move does she know that it's the prince like does everybody recognize him oh that bread looks amazing I think I like him because he looks a little bit different than a lot of the males in Final Fantasy. Like, he has a really cool nose. Here, it's fresh from the well. She nursed him back to health. Okay. It's like a glimpse at him. Oh. Dude, he has some thick thighs. That save lives. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. Oh. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. <laughs> so many lanterns. The contrast between that and the overall blue feel of this area in the crystal. <laughs> Keeps focusing on his blade. The fiend works from the shadows. Because that's the blade that pierced his father. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing. My fault. My sin to bear. Mm. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. <laughs> you make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. I mean, the future's bright if more of the kids are like that. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Are you? Thanks to you. And your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Oh. I hope he just showers her in riches. Not that she needs it or anything, but she deserves the world. 
to just see somebody and not be able to walk past it. That's not a lot of people. I don't think she knew. I really don't think she thought that was the prince. Oh, Phoenix. It would seem that I owe you my wings. So he went back. Do you think he's going to try to meet back up with us by saying that? Seems I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. Mm. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few. <laughs> but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course. Lady Taya. Taya is the most Tell underrated character. Taya? She deserved more lives. To get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less. If your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. It's a fair point. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Mm. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. And that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! <laughs> I forgot that mid loves, course, yeah. I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They nice. May not be easy to come by, Anash. Which means side questing for me. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. But I don't know if I could stop him, even if I wanted to. You know? As much as I wish I could. He's a host unto his own. Um... That's locked. Interesting. Okay. Maybe you have to do other ones first. Okay, at this point in time, guys, we're not gonna go talk to the professor. We are going to do side missions, exploration, kind of basically get our affairs in order before we go over to Ash, because I don't know if it will get locked out after we go over to Ash or not. So let's get side questing. <gasps> let's go see about our. Do we have any? Oh no. But there's alliance reports. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Yes, please. Quick look. Under new management. What is this one about? Okay. Then we also have rekindling the flame too. <gasps> and then three. There's three in Dalmechia. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, I do want to help out Theodore. Interesting. Only okay. Trading places too. Duty under or uh, undying in Tabor. Tabor. Okay. Okay. Seen um, enough? let's do the ones in the hideaway first, and then we'll go around. But uh, yeah, much of today will probably be side quests. I don't appear. I know we have two. Okay, don't go over there. I know we have two hunt boards still, so we'll need to do those as well. But let's start with blacksmith blues three. Wait, I don't see it anymore. No. Did I lose those? Even weirder science? Please, no, 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 please, sir. Can I have some marble? But what about blacksmith blues? Oh, is that up here? Yes, blacksmith. Oh, lumps, let's go talk to him. Oh, I got worried there for a second. I was like, no. <laughs> Oi. August. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. So one Speaking more time. Of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, uh -huh. and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed. Oh, no. Only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. But he doesn't make rings, and does he? Seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, <laughs> I thought maybe. Mm hmm. I feel like he sounds like somebody from Harry Potter. I'll speak to him. I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. <laughs> Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. 
All right, we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna open up a ton of quests and at least initiate them. And then as we're like traversing the hideaway, we'll kind of complete some of them. And then we'll go outside of the hideaway. That's like seven, I think that's like seven additional side quests. All right, who next? Oh, and then, okay. Um, let's go inside of my chambers. Oh no, I probably have multiple missions inside of my chamber. Oh, she hasn't checked on Joshua. Wait a minute, I'm so confused. She just said come back as if he's still gone. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe they forgot to like write that in. All right, up to my quarters. Excuse me. Let's do. Oh, what do you expect? Farmers are abandoning oh, their fields yeah. and traders their roots. Yeah. Most of what we have now comes from here in the either way. I mean, it makes sense though. I mean, if everything's becoming a cash and stuff. Oscar, I thought you were going to. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to East Park, Okay. But as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. He's sweet. Uh, okay, I don't have anything new there, just my missives. Nice! Alright, it's just one, but we do need to read- whoa! Wait, 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 some of these have- no, most of these have been read. I think the only new ones are these two. Yeah, it has the red dot next to it. Captain Doris. Doris. Um... Oh, oh, the girl in the hideaway. Sir- oh, Cole. Sir. I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest, her recent investigations have visited upon her. Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. Okay. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me. Yeah. But I can speak to her at least. No, she's definitely confided in us before, so self-determination. Yeah, I feel like she's confided in us before. So I wouldn't see why she wouldn't again. Everybody's confiding in me these days. And tale makes four. Clive, there's but one crystal left. Needs cracking. And but one man who can do it. See that you don't miss, Otto? All right, Otto. Okay. Wouldn't that be really cool? I'm sure it isn't like this, but it would be really cool if like each individual character wrote that, but I think that's actually like a text that they've done for all of them. No, I don't know. I don't, I think that's no. They are all kind of different. Wait, there's no way. Do you think the missives are really the cursive writing from whoever maybe did the voice of the character or something? That would be a really awesome way to have, you know, the variety that you see. That would be such a special like tidbit if they really did include that. Goots. You have something to talk about? Need? He keeps Be showing that he has. Alright, there's two things over here. We have oh the Morvel. I do want to start this one too. Isn't this for medicine as well? Yeah. Plus anything that helps with- Oh, we should see the apple trees. I just recently went apple picking and it just reminded me of the Martell apples. We can't let some foul weather ruin five summers of research. Even if the clouds are the color of a topaz sick. A topaz. I mean, the sun still should be coming through, right? I mean, it's probably not the sunshine that it needs though. Nigel. Sid. Do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Mm -hmm. Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. He needs more. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know. Morbles? But hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. Yeah. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. 
I mean, what's one vine? Now I just want to see if it works. I mean, that is such a clever solution. It can't not work, right? Or it's going to be a mess. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. <laughs> that is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. Hmm. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. As in right now. More timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Do you hear like the echo in his voice too? Please, sir, can I have some marble? That whoever came up with the names for the quest, they knew what they were doing. They took the job and soared with it. I love the puns or the like pop culture references. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think let's go ahead and see if we can collect this one as well. Even weirder science. Haven't we done weird si Oh, we did weird science and this one's even weirder science. Oh, this one's gonna be good too. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? Oh, lemon tarts sound amazing. Mm. I love the rays of sun, just some pools of it. Can the beaming in. Isn't it? Oh, it's up on the third. Okay. Yeah, we haven't done science in yes. a while, actually. We edit a story for lesson today. What a wonderful idea, Jocelyn. Let's do just that. Aw. Shirley. It's giving me Anne Shirley vibes as the teacher. Mm. Oh no, was it actually downstairs? Wait. Oh, it's down in mid's area. I'm such a goofball. It's down in mid's compartment. Can I jump this? Forgot where I did it to begin with. Oh, that's right. He needed me to go grab. Yeah. Oh, the Enterprise was amazing. Ah, Sid. Just Owen. the man I was hoping to see. D did you have a mo? A mo. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. <laughs> we still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. <laughs> a heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble He's is. So we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. Which is? And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? <laughs> Why not? Even weirder science. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So... What exactly is this good and he stuff? He tells me it's going to be a dumb neck, yeah. Ancient. Got a couple of examples here. Spherical <gasps> echoes, we call them. Or fallen materials. It could be in Rosaria. So the smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? Mm. And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. Okay, that's pretty but cool. These yeah. things, they're all outside. <laughs> if we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, oh. they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. Easy peasy. We're only three short mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way in that ruin that they call Lost They're King, all in separate places. And another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Told you Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent. 
It is in the Empire. Mm. All right then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> I love how he speaks. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with even weirder science because I just love this guy. He's so uh, adorable. All right, so we have a lot of quests to do. I think that's everything in the hideaway that I picked up, minus this being locked out. I don't know why it's locked. I'm gonna have to look that up. Tears of Mercy. That would be really sad if I had to have done that earlier and I just missed out on it. So I'm gonna need to look that up here in a second. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep doing side missions. We also have all the side missions outside too, y'all. So yeah, this is gonna be a long episode. <laughs> As they all are, but uh, I'll be right back, you guys. And then we'll get started on those. Right, yo, let's hop up here and go collect those items first. Oh, there's more over here too. All right, let's see. Under new management is different, even weirder science. Uh, let's go to Northreach. I'm sure we'll see a lot of Akashic on the route, but guys, we are just beelining for missions. We're not going to fight things along the way. I don't really feel like I need anything up anything today? at this much. point in time. Although, we need to go back through and see merchants. I need to see about acquiring all the music because we almost have it all. But I think there's one or two vendors that I missed when I maybe like first got into the game. I know we got North Reaches, we got Rosarias, something's running after me. What else? Hmm. I think the one in East Pool is either gonna come back to us after they. There's a Marble. After they fix it. Or that might have been the one that Lady Karen had. Hold on, I think I'm going the wrong way. Ah! Run it back, run it back. Up and over. Oh, it's near the raptors, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and I need to kill the creatures by here. Hmm. Lovely. Alright, let's get our fight on. No need to deal with these ones first. Oh, we need to test out Shiva's abilities. Yo, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Alright, let's go to Deadly Embrace. Does it say Awoken Bug? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. When I have bugs, I prefer them to be Woken. Alright. Cast the spell. What was casting the Protect spell on it, though? Which creature? Mm, that one. No, the guy behind him. No, he's protecting. Shoot. All right, that one's dead. Just burn him. I just don't know what that feels like. The constant, all right. The constant to burning sensation. Echo. Ah, to find it, as if there isn't an indication on the map. This is all right, it. to Lost Plume? Hmm. Too much to find. But we're gonna find everything outside first and then we'll go back to well actually there's still some missions that we'll probably have to leave the hideaway for. Should we go see the under new management? Wait, hold on. Y'all, we need to go back to this. Under new management. Did something happen to um uh mm, oh Jenna? Uh, no. Helena? No. What was her name? Was the veil. The but still. Under new management. Wait, did she quit her job? Does she not want to run it anymore? What was her name? And you're just gonna fall into line. The courier. I don't trust this duke. Oh. If we're not careful, you'll undo all the dame's hard work. The duke. Somebody wanted to buy it, maybe? Maybe she didn't want to run it anymore. I mean maybe she wants to retire. Isabel. That's what it is. Oh, what am I oh to no, do? yeah, yeah. My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The oh, High no. Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? The High Cardinal. Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Mm. Not that any of those things still exist. Right. Now he goes by his noble title. 
the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northridge? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. Mm. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. Right. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me. I have used every means of persuasion to discourage oh. him from this folly. Sheriff Nottingham. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? Philippe? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. I don't mind speaking out against him. A man whose stated aim is to revive the empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve. Yeah. And to improve the soldiers' lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. But at the cost now, of others. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. Mm. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf? I mean, I've been known to piss a few people off. You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds mm -hmm. of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. I mean, I probably won't be trying all my methods of persuasion on him, but I can certainly try. I'll see what I can do. I wonder where he's... He took a president somewhere? Clive. Tell me then. Homes? Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Hmm. Overseeing the troops. Yes. All right. Wish me luck. <laughs> Seriously. No, but like really wish me luck. All right, guys. We'll do this one real quick since it's right here. And I have a... I don't know. I, I really liked Isabel. She really helped us in a lot of situations. And I had more like newfound respect for her too. Once we tried to give her the, the jewel and she didn't want to accept it at first. Before, at the remembrance ceremony. Remember. I didn't make a strong impression. At the remembrance ceremony. Why am I not remembering that? Ironic enough. Um, all right, we're hopping over here. I love this. I cannot express how much I enjoy this because it's cool to see in each of these areas, right? Rosaria, Empire, Delmechia. We have gone through almost like uh, phases, if you think about it like that, right? Like we've helped their people in times before the fall of the crystals, um, right? We helped them before that. Then we helped them right after uh, all of this took over with the sky and everything and more Kashuk are showing up. So we help them in times of desperation. And then we're also now seeing this new wave of what are people doing um, and how are people going to take away or um, take advantage of the situation, right? Like the whole of Valisthea is in unrest and just going through the worst of it. And so you are always going to have people trying to take advantage of that situation at the cost of others around them um, because people will see it as an opportunity to rise up. And so I'm hoping in Rosaria, as well as Delmechia, we also see the players that are trying to step up and really take advantage of this situation. Time. Instead of pulling people together, they're like, oh, I stand to profit from this. You know what I mean? So this is, uh, I like the direction they Oops. did this and how they did the phases. Oh, sorry about that. You're Stur the dames man, aren't you? You got Good. some business with the captain? No, actually. With the Duke. The I was hoping nature. I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Okay. Wait here. That's either go really good or really bad. <laughs> I don't remember him. Oh, no, I do, so, I do, I do. 
You are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek, or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underreckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Uh -huh. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. I mean, it's not a bad idea. This is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. But then you'd have to... The Empire wants Oof. for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. Really? For the capital? Oh, I don't know about that. I care Norvent as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, mm. we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls I do like North shall Reach's learn town. that they are no match for the might of Sandbreck. Can we not construct new buildings? you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, mm -hmm. you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders <sighs> command. Oh. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. And yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid yeah. of losing what little they have left. They have Precisely. so little unyielding something. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine. The Jasper? We have discussed this. Sabine? Yes. And I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. That. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Mm. Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. Yeah, this seems like a not my place. But how am I going to help this? The citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. Oh, we should go. Wouldn't hurt to ask them, yeah. I suppose. Okay. I actually kind of like this. Those on the other side of the wall. It feels very fable-esque. Well, and then I was reminded because it said Sabine. You are embarrassing me. <laughs> uh, she reminds me of, uh, was it Jasper? Why am I, I'm blinking on, no, yeah, Jasper, no. Um, Do you think he was the only one who survived? Witcher's Bard, what is his name? Yeah, um, it is on the tip of my tongue. Was that shouting I heard from I the I think bat? because I'm trying so hard to remember it. Ah, uh, what is his, okay, you guys will tell me in the comments. I can't think of it right now. Chocobo keeper. A question, if you don't mind. Please, sir. What do you think of the time. Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, only for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. <sighs> we'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Hmm. I also think too on an like if you rally your citizens to care about what has been built 
then they will gladly defend it. You don't have to starve them out to get, you know, the forces that you need. Alemonger. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Mm. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint, tar bucket in hand. Tar bucket in hand. They're not messing around. That is true too. They do rally around the dame a lot. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just yeah, need see. his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Okay, that's good. The people seem united enough. Yeah. What about the soldiers? Well, now we need to talk to the townsfolk inside the wall. Okay. Was that shouting I heard from the barracks? Absolutely. All right, let's go talk to these soldiers first. Oh yeah, I feel like we always pass these soldiers. Not these two, I'm but just definitely. gonna fall into. Them. Oh no, it's not a soldier. Okay, so maybe we'll f maybe we'll ask the soldiers after the people inside the wall. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, Consensus. <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. But I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. Mm. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a saw from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Okay. It is cool to see all the different opposing feelings. It's, not the, only of the, it's the whole of Northridge. Their entire way of life would change as well, though. Hmm. We already have a leader in the day. <laughs> they all think of the dame as a leader, which is so interesting. Now. Enough for Cynical soldier. Yeah. He doesn't agree You're with that. The one who was talking to his eminence. On the dame's behalf, yes. I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but it seems my words fell on deaf ears. Mm. What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do, not the other way around. Oh, I truly Listen, have I've got opinion. nothing but respect for the dame, but I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie. Not with the town or the empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us some men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. Hmm. He just wants to take care of what's his. It is a hard predicament. Simping. Serious soldier. Okay. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. Wow. All I know is that unless the Emperor they orders all me otherwise, way. his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sandbrack is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. He's more of like a see the long game perspective. Mm. Let's see what Felipe yeah. makes of all this. There's so many different opinions. It does make it a little difficult. I feel like now I'm starting to play like a whole day. <laughs> starting to get into the politics of it, and I just want to be a fighter. I just want to save the realm from impending doom. Oh, where was he? Philippe? It says near. Wait a minute. Philippe, is he over here? Welcome oh. back. Great to give you any trouble. Wow, he's crushing it though. I mean, how many times has he gone out there? Look at the Akashic. 
feel like we I feel bad. I feel like we should go take them out, but they'll just respawn. Captain, do you have a moment? For you, certainly. Aww. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. Hmm. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't yeah. agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. But surely she said that. And she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Dang. Well, duty calls. So I better go. Thanks again. That feels so simplistic. And I thought she had already talked to him about that and said to Philip. Or maybe we, maybe she didn't want to put him in that Seems position, Philippe I believe. wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that. Yeah. Nothing else. I guess that's it for this mission. It's interesting seeing the state of the realm after and how they're going to move forward in each individual area as well. Like, it's not like they can band together. I mean, they're still very separate locations and the Empire still wants to rebuild what they have. Ah, oh, Clive. Yeah. How did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... I love how they do that. I say it every time, but it's a clever way to... So Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Mm. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Yeah. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Reminds me of somebody else. They themselves are of a different opinion and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek? I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Of course. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't oh. know about that. Yay! Yes! Philip, Philippe. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Let's go. I told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realize what really matters to me. You. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, but protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. Aww. When they do come back, <laughs> we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no mm. point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Mm. Indeed. All of us standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Yes. Anything for you, milady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale <laughs> to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be okay. my guest. Wouldn't Her be outfit looks time. so uncomfortable. There may be hope for Northreach yet. Yeah, I feel like it could be great. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke. 
in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. All right, one more time. Until then, Clive. Until no, then. that's fine. No, I like that. I'm totally fine to come back and see Northreach in a better state. I really hope after, you know, I hope there's kind of like a post end game where you can see the fruits of your labor and working on these side missions and see what happens to all of these different locations, you know? It'd just be really cool to see Valisthea return to its glory. Well, not to its glory, but to a better state than what it's in currently. All right, we have something at Martha's Reach, and then we have Hawk's Cry. Which one is this? Oh, this is the other Weirder Science. Yeah, no, this is perfect. Yeah, I'll fast travel here. All right, another Weirder Science. And then since we're in Rosaria, let's go ahead and just pop up to Martha's Rest and do that main mission too. The side missions seem like they're taking a little bit longer than these go fetch ones. Let's go. The hideaways are a lot Fly more like a go fetch them, you know? Fly, Ambrosia. All right, uh, Kashuk Chocobos are the last thing I need to be dealing with. And spiders. This town. This town was ether flooded. Oh, Damn no. It. The whole village is Yeah. Tired. I can walk from here. No. You know what? No, this is the right way. Man, that is sad to see an entire village turn to... And this is what Barnabas would want for the whole world. I'm not gonna bother with them. Should just keep rounding the corner here. Uh, once I get out of combat, but I'm gonna have to run the whole way. Because once I leave that combat, they're still chasing me? Yeah, once you leave that combat, you get this one again. I'm just gonna have to sprint there. Although maybe I should, they're gonna respawn, right? I mean, me not killing the Akashic there, it's not gonna make anything better, right? Don't bother them, don't bother them, don't bother them. Run to the side. Come on, Torgo. Oh, and speak with Vivian Ninetales. There they are. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, let's go to abilities. Let's see it. Here we go. Shiva channel. That means we have one more. Which has to be Odin before we take down Ultima. It's gotta be Odin. Okay. So what's her special? Summon a winter storm that freezes enemies in place within a radius before dealing massive ice damage and knocking them back. I want that and I want it mastered so we can apply it to other things. Launch multiple shards of ice that upon striking lighter enemies draw them towards Clive. And Ice Age is like a, yeah, river of icicles. And then what is this? Rhyme. Summon a colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become entrapped inside of it. Okay. Well, I think as much as I love Garuda's thing right now, let's just go ahead and replace it with this one real quick. Just to test it out. Or no, no, no. I think I want to replace this, right? No, I like this one. I like Wings of Light and I like Garuda's. I'm gonna do Shiva's real quick and then go back to over here. So with Shiva's, I have these on right now, but I'm gonna actually, okay, this is what we're gonna do with the points that I have. We're gonna unlock the special. Uh, wait, I should have undid that. You know what I should have done? Oh, shoot. No, no, that's fine. I would say I need to master Diamond Dust and then I could apply that. Oh. You hate to see it. Yeah, I think I need to save up and... But hold on. I want to test out all the abilities on that. I would sooner switch this one out because I don't feel like I'm using it as well as I could be using it. So I feel like, let me do this. And then for hers, we'll put on the new abilities because I want to test out them. I also know you can respec as well. Um, I am tracking that, y'all. Mesmerize? That one I want to see. Diamond Dust. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's the that's the ultimate. Oh, that's right. I can't do all of them. Mm, all right, let's do Mesmerize in the ultimate. Okay, let's test it. Oi. Here we go. Cold snap. That's something about the ice that I love. All right, let's test out this ultimate first. 
They've awoken. Okay, that was not the ultimate, but that did a lot of damage, actually. Okay, I mean... Ow. I don't think that's my favorite ultimate, but it doesn't feel bad. Let's try using it a couple more. Oh, he's woken. He's woken. Enchilada? Oh my gosh. Now let me do this real quick. This guy's gonna be annoying to fight. There we go. For Rue to pull him down. Okay. I do like that one. Mm. Oh, back out, back out, back out! Nice. Get back in. Alright, cast this real quick. Staggered. I want to try all of Shiva's abilities because I feel like they've got to be amazing. Ignition. I need to replace Ignition. I keep talking about doing it and yet I haven't done it yet. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, I should have garooted. See, like, damage dealt? Not as much as you would think, you know? Staggered. Dead. Yeah, I need to see the overall damage dealt with that. That kind of freezes them in place. I do like Cold Snap, actually. I like that a lot. We need to try using it on smaller creatures. Stay down. One to go. Okay. So we're done with Hawks. Nope. Yes. Yes, we are. Wait, the merchant has new stuff. Is there anything else in here? Any other merchants? All right, let's go back to Martha's Rest. And we are doing Lighting the Flame. What was that first one? Kindling the Flame. Oh, uh, Helping in East Pool, wasn't it? I think that one was rather quick, too. It probably means we'll just do something to help Eastpool. Or maybe find- oh, maybe Cressica? 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 Hold on. Cressida? Maybe we can revive Cressida? That would be really cool. Anything be a way to bring- right. Be a way to, um, bring things back. Oh, Breath of Ice. Reduces Rhyme cooldown by two seconds. I believe Rhyme is the ability that I'm not utilizing right now. I have to unlock it. That all, is it? We will go sell to Karen and everything as well later on today. All right, what do you need help with, Martha? Can't say it wasn't a relief to see the better part of the Guardians finally taking their leave. Dang. We barely had room to breathe, what with them and us and all the others all crammed in together. They were good lads, though. We'll miss not having them around. I'm sure they'll pop in for food, because it's not like they have an alehouse there. In Eastpool, at least. Ah, Clive, I was just about to send for you. Wait. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about what? time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As have those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, <sighs> but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. If you're mm. wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking exactly. supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. No, I understand so it Wade's now. putting a brave face on it. But I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. Hmm. I'm assuming we'll probably take out some Akashic too, but yes, right. okay. I, Thanks. I feel like... Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. Yeah. That should be enough to keep them in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Oh, for the Chocobos. Gazal get... Greens. Not the most mouth-watering yeah. crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Mm. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And Chocobos love them too, mm -hmm. which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. <laughs> They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. Just about. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. 
And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. That sounds I'll like Martha. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to prioritize this quest, do rekindling the flame, because it is cool to help um, the guardians of the flame. I just thought that the land, I mean, I know the blight is right on the doorstep of Eastpool. You can see by the dim, but I just didn't think crops were growing. I thought they even talked about that back when, um, what's her name was alive? The silent so for spherical echoes. Oh, where is the silence? Whoa, okay, let's check this out though. The Guardian saying we're supposed to grow our own food. Mm. The victuals Martha sends us are more than enough for me. Oh. It's gonna be my posture in a few years if I don't change it. Ah! All right, Sir Wade, how's it going? Wait, they fixed everything up, haven't they? Didn't it look at like, it, yeah, it was in disarray. Yes. At least, wait, maybe I'm imagining it in my head, but it looks like they fixed things up. Ah, Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. Chocobos. All right, while Chocobos adore these greens, their human masters find them significantly less toothsome. toothsome. Turning, to, turning to them only in times of hardship, most often after their faithful seeds have already been added to the pot. Oof. But food's food. These are gizal green seeds. Are they nutritious? Martha's keen to cut the apron strings then, is she? <laughs> I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, mm. only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. Mm. They know little of freedom, yeah. of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, we wow. fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. That is it's such a good point. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Bearers and guardians alike. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of the, cash. the horde is close. Oh in. shoot! Here we go. They're coming. So wait, all of them. Time it all. I thought we'd have more time. Well, gather the men in the square. Good Send timing to the for rest me. for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. Man, I can't be everywhere at once. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. Mm. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. But I'm just in time. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Mm. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference yes. between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. I think that's the thing as well. Like, if they want to live like free men, right, you need to give them the still options of if they want to defend it, right? If they want to, um, like, if they want to defend Eastpool, they should. Like, that's how they're also going to care more about it as a community. That's how it's going to build as a community. And I think for them to survive this, they have to pull together and be one. Because as long as you keep the separation of, like, you guys are protecting them, it almost does lock them into feeling like the Guardians are their masters. But I didn't think about how it would be for the Bearers to go to a town like this, having just come from serving another master, right, and not being free. I think you would almost be filled with this lack of, not lack of purpose, it's not like serving the masters were like a, la or were a purpose, but I think that 
going from having to do all of this to like trying to fend for yourself like there's been skills that haven't been taught to them you know like there's a whole lot of learning that needs to be done and i think giving them the freedom to defend giving them the freedom to be and do what they want to do is going to help bridge that gap because right now like you look at it and you're like okay the bears and then we've got the guardians and even though the guardian's job is to protect them they need to learn to protect themselves too so i did not think about that I humbly beg your aid. We Guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. No, some of them probably don't even have shoes. You would send us to the slaughter. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. No. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. There won't be a home left. But it is worth fighting for. Martha. Here we go. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. Didn't you? This yeah. place, East Pool. This is your village, your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Yes. Everything. Homes, your freedom, your very lives. Oh, I think I got chills. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen? To oh, you? Martha is such a strong character. Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die, having never stood up for yourselves? The frying pan. Will you fight like <laughs> free men and women? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Come on. There we go. Well, what are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. Let's go. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine or die trying. We all will. Free men and women fighting together. For East Pool. For East Pool. Yeah. Yeah. That was Thank inspiring. You, Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. I mean, also, I think, I don't know. I just, I feel like. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> Lord Rossfield, my lady. We're ready. We're ready. All right, so let's what's defend the plan this. Of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? Mm. I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. Smart. Luck, that point will be the village square, the perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them, and for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. 
but one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. Martha? I'd say you have both in abundance to wait. Oh. But you'll be needed. Please. Yeah. Leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. <laughs> so wait! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Yeah. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That I, East Pool might live on. I also feel For like... For Rosaria. For Rosaria! I feel like these are some of the final missions for these specific towns. Although no Northridge... to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Oh, Northridge sounded like there were multiple. I suppose we'd better do our bit too then, eh? Right you are, Martha. Yeah, she said that I think there's going to be one more for Northreach, but this might be the final rekindling. Although they've been coming in threes. The Blacksmith Blues. Three. The calm before the storm. All right. Make sure I don't use everything right away. Comes. Uh, how would they have taken Not these guys on? You know, like, how would average people take this on? Nice. Oh. <laughs> Come here. It's a good thing that we got the Garuda's back because I've been having such a hard time grabbing enemies, you know? Alright, let's do this. So cool. And then you freeze him? Oh, hell yeah. Well, because you can keep freezing them eventually. Can you just get them in like a, basically like a freeze block? So it breaks after you hit them, but I feel like you can just constantly freeze them. Oh no, Akashic Chocobos! No! Oh gosh, you guys know how I deal with Chocobos. Do a little bit of ice. No, I'm going to get attacked by Chocobo. Nice. Ignition. <laughs> you gotta freeze him first, and then you hit him with the hit him with the fire. Mm. More enemies. There's gonna be a big one. There's gotta be a big one. I love this. I'm gonna level this one up, Max. Yeah. Garuda and Shiva for sure. Garuda Shiva. I know you guys want me to change out the Phoenix. I know, I know you guys do. I just, a part of me wants to keep up sentimental. I know it's stupid, but. Looks like that's the last of them. It's my brother. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What I've is almost it? forgotten Titans. Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Oh, shoot. Well, the better half of her guard is here. Yeah. So wait. How many Akashic remain in East Pool? None. Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, mm -hmm. but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... Or I can go. No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. Ah, he's so noble. Let's go. All right, we're fast traveling. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, crap. That's, yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to wild choke about this. Yeah, we need to sprint there. That'll be the fastest way. Uh, How many points do I have right now? Because I kind of want to level up some Ashiva stuff now that I realize I love it so much. What does leveling up this do? Wait, this one, sorry. 3,000 to level up Cold Snap? Dang. Oh, to master it. Mastering it increases permafrost duration. Oh, I don't know. I, I really love all of her abilities. The one I'm using right now is Mesmerize. Uh, upgrading it also fires three shards behind Clive. Let's do that. Let's actually go ahead and spend that so that I'm getting that almost 360. Oh. Come to tell me an Akashic curl's heading towards the rest. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. The curl was sighted on Rhiannon's ride back towards Martha's rest. 
I'm on my way. And then we have three in Dalmechia, and I think that's most of the side missions. We'll definitely be able to go back and do a smidge of main quest again. Although I feel like, uh, I feel like I should complete everything on this side and then hold off, because I know y'all hate where I pause some of these episodes. <laughs> Time to fight. I feel like I should fight these guys to help them. How do I punch him again? I forgot how to punch. Oh, that's it. No, I don't think that's it. I can't remember. Oh. oh. I don't think I'm doing it right, but we're just gonna run. It's fine. Oh, maybe it was Gallop Dismount. No. I forgot how I did it last time. But they can take care of goblins. They'll be fine. All right, it'll force me off gotta be a big guy yeah of course there it is with me toggle nice Ooh, it even freezes giants like that i mean this is broken come on no wonder it costs three thousand to do that I mean, look at what you can just keep him basically frozen for. Okay, but his, he does his attack. I got you. I'm gonna do a high potion. Nice. Damn, this comes back pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's limit and then do these. It's disgusting. Shiva might be one of the more powerful ones, in my opinion. I don't know. Oh. All right, and then do this. Keep him frozen on the ground. Freeze him again. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I am keeping Shiva stuff. Yeah, I gotta figure out the the long run, like what kind of order I want going up against some future characters, but like Odin. Right. I'm gonna, have, pool. I'm gonna have to have like the best items against Odin. I liked my fight with him earlier. I do feel like that wasn't the worst fight I've done. I, I wish like I had known that I couldn't win that one fight because I was so hard on myself. I was like, there's no way you can break this in time. All right, we did it. Let's go. Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? The curl. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord, we were able to eradicate the rest of the Horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. Hmm. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Most of them are still alive. Thank you. Even the doubter. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But mm. there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. The confidence, We have to fight you know. to protect what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on then. Let's get to work. Oh. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. This is awesome. They got that added confidence and they feel like a community. They're not slaves anymore. Mm -mm. No. No. They're Rosarians. Oh. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight 
And I believe if he was still with us today, this is yeah. what he would have wanted. Absolutely. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian <laughs> if I didn't pull my weight. An East Poolian. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. Pudlian. <laughs> but you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking <laughs> of which, I ought to be getting back. Yeah. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'll be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Mm. Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. I will. Gotta finish out the quest. Her men, though. Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very oh. first mission together? Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind marshes? Yes. Oh my gosh, that seemed like a lifetime ago. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> There's one sight that I shall never forget. Mm -hmm. You, facing off against that giant mauble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Mm. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So wait. You have always been a true shield. <laughs> I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> I feel like that's like our close out to I'll Wade. Do my best. I don't know if that's true or not, but that felt like an ending to Wade. Like, I know we can go back and see him, but the way that they structured that, that just kind of felt like a close to um, the entire game with him, like the parts that we saw him in. They just made so many incredible characters. You get attached to, and then you want to start. And you feel for them, and then you cry when they're gone. Hey, Martha. The hero returns. Mm. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Did I get her frying pan Not as only a did trophy? My seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Frying pan. Frying Thank pan. You, Martha. So Eastpool's finally back on its feet again, and a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Not well, that. it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, mm -hmm. working for themselves. Not your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Oh, as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. Really? In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. <sighs> Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Yeah, true. Running in a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me, Her song I with thought it. he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. <laughs> After all my hard work... <sighs> told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. Mm. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. I'm told sure. him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. <laughs> and 
Do you know what he did? He smiled, and then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day, that whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Oh. Well, we both wanted the same thing, to make life better for bearers, just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Oh. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Yeah. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Yeah. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. Just, Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna <laughs> save the world on an empty stomach neither. That's true. That sounds like a wonderful idea. As long idea. as it's not the seeds. The leaves, the greens, or whatever. Alright, I think we got it. I think we got her frying pan. Or something as a... Like a remembrance of our missions with her. That seemed like it was... Yeah, that was the end of our time with Martha too. I think I realized that when you're done serving that person and doing their quests, you receive their gift in, in return. The emblem of Martha's Rest, personal fiefdom of the Golden Stables, indomitable Lamb Lady. To those with no love for the Empire, the settlement stands as an isle, island of safety in a sea of anything but. Yep, when we are done with that character, we, uh, I think we get their, their peace. Which means I need to go see who's left, which means we'll probably get something from the blacksmith as well. All right, so we have a lot of things to do in Dalmec. Yeah, I'm actually going to like, let's, oh, sorry. Let's do this spherical. Wait, uh, where is it? Right here. Wait, is it here? Is this it? Yeah, even weirder science. Let's go ahead and finish the even weirder science and then take that back. Let's do blacksmith blues and then we'll do all the ones in Dalmechia too. Um, yeah, Martha is a great person in this game and just to hear her tale of her with Sid and she was doing it before she met Sid. Um, I think it's nice to see that there were other people like there are obviously more people joined along the way but she like she said saw what the upbringing was like i think there's multiple ways you can go but this is the way it works being raised during the time of my father like she got to see how it could be better it wasn't great right they still weren't free quote unquote but um i imagine growing up around the time of my father like that weighed heavily into her decision to do what she does. Uh, let me hop off. Hold on. Safe. <laughs> Be safe. All right, let's do this. Noise, noise. All right, and then cast this up. That will do. Oh, he's off the cliff. Ignition. <laughs> Alright. Let's do... Freeze him. I haven't leveled it up yet, have I? Oh, I love how it brings them to you. Ooh, you're never gonna get me. Freeze the fireball. Freeze the fireball. Oh, he's gonna explode. Nice. Alright, he's gone. And then you freeze after. Ooh, that's like the way. All right, so you pull him in, and then you freeze. Ignition. Nice. All right, where is it? That's a piece. Oh. Perfect. And that is even weirder science. So Wait, what them. about the more normal? Oh, I can uncross his toes now. Oh, we gotta go talk to. We gotta go talk to. Oh shoot, we have so many things. Hold on, we have Bach Lad, which I know that, but 
Where is... I don't even think it's popping up on the map, because where is the Morble? Oh, maybe the Morble's... I don't know. I feel like it's not popping up. Maybe I have to... I don't... Let me turn these missions in, because otherwise I start getting too many on my... My notice... Oh, also our patrons! And I need to figure Coveting out why that's locked. Lost. I didn't look it up, but when I take my next break here in a second, I will peep it. Whoa! Whoa! What's automatically happening? Where are you? Where are you? I hope you said. I'm looking Doris. for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. <laughs> My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? It looks like Kenny. What was the mission? Where the Millers? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. Oh, yes. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? Okay, that's good. If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Hmm. That's good that we at least have, like, the direction to go. Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Really? We haven't gotten enough to get another patron? How may I help you today, Clive? We must be getting towards the end of it. Oh my gosh, great balls of fire. Yeah, oh, this has to be the end, though. <gasps> to sail forbidden seas. Oh my goodness, you guys, we have another song in this. Genji gloves, ring of swift shot, <gasps> 2,500 ability points. Oh my goodness, we are 100, we're less than Just 100 away. There, Sid. We gotta finish all these side missions. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, wait, let's go do mids thing because that will get us some ability points. 2,500 ability points, that will be game changer. We can level up our, our swift foot or our cold foot, ice foot. Cold compress? Something. All right, let's see if this is, I'm sure we'll have oh, one more with him. With Canva in the hands of Akashi. Owen. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you back so soon. Well, I prioritized your request. Is it good news or bad? Always good. No doubt the Fallen had some other purpose in mind for these contravances, contra wait, contravances, than to stud them in a smelter and would ridicule us for doing so. Just as a man of the present day might laugh at a goblin using a carefully filed cogwheel to enliven his hat. Enliven? Good, thankfully. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks a blimmin' million. So adorable. I'll fit into the smelter right away. Into the smelter. Into the woods. Wow. Oh yeah, that was in the middle. <gasps> nice. May it looks I beautiful. Look at the you. engraving. The Telemon Furnace in Parishi. Looks great. She's a beauty. Yeah. You saved my beacon again, Sid. And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. I'm gonna start saying that. It's it's fine. You saved really. my bacon. <laughs> my bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sure I can make a few improvements oh. to it. Yeah. More bag flexibility. Buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and. I make forgot some about more these. Ah. And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on. The Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. Mm. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well... Stretchy. Stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> <laughs> the stretchy well, metal. if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. I promise. And this is why you do good deeds. Not four things. Okay, wait, wait. Let me circle back. Not so that you get stuff in return, so, but... what do you reckon? It's why you do side quests in this game. It's... actually quite ingenious. Let me see. Thank you, Owen. Owen, sorry. Owen. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. 
Plus, I love never fixing it up. That's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. Well, yeah, One without day, the magic, the absolutely. know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. <laughs> Let me see it. Let's see it. Show it off, Clive. Even weirder science. 50 renowned. Oh my gosh, guys, we're one away. We're so close. We're the same exotic alloy alloy form from, sorry, which the clasp of this satchel was fashioned be used to craft a suit of armor. It should surely be supple enough to accommodate even the greediest knight's ever expanding belly. Nice. Da -na -na. Inventory maximized again. Another one. All right. What'd it do? Potions to eight? Oh, that's amazing. That I'm gonna need all of it too. You bet your bottom dollar. We're gonna need every single piece of it. Okay, so Morble's back. Oh, we had to use the hunt board to find the Morble. That's right. I forgot about that, but we're gonna go to the blacksmith for now. Then we'll go to the hunt board because the hunt board will show where we need to scoop that up. And we need to do self-determination. So really we have about like six more side quests. <laughs> have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? What's up? Oh, also, he'll give us something for it, too. Oh, he's always down. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. <laughs> oh, and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. <laughs> August tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Oh, no. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Oh. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. <laughs> August. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We Zoltan. apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. Mm. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Fast has improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters because engraving metal's a nightmare and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. Oh. The fact is... Engraving. I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. Mm -hmm. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse okay, okay. to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret. I oh, doubt no, he'd be too happy to see me. Ah, oh, this will be cool. And just this once. Make peace with being second best. Oh. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you. That is such a good. We need to do thing. something about it. Great advice. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Blackthorn's leaving Magic. the hideaway. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravost, my old village. Dravost? He won't have left. He's the chief. <gasps> oh. Dravost, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? We weren't able Just to go there. The fields of yes! Got we were Clive? blocked out. Meet us at Dravost as soon as you can, yeah? Oh, this is cool. And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Okay. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Yeah, this should open up. Let me see the world map. I think if it's where I think it is. Uh, Dravage, yeah. Yes! Yes, we were blocked out of this, but now we'll be able to do it. Woo! -hoo! All right, let me go to the hunt board. Also, let me peep up here real quick. The stew. Let me see which companions that we've already received something for. Also, we do have a new missive probably thanking us for our last two tasks. The courage to fight. Martha. What happened in Eastpool with the bearers and the guardians has been a long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The duchy of old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many, and it is through victories such as these that that fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a fine beginning it is. And I believe if we popped over here, Walls of Memories. Yeah, so we have the Oath, which is from Sid. Then we have the Hangman sign, because we finished out everything with, yeah. So all of these will be our sign boards that we were uh, given um, the seals from, which means there's still a lot of people that we still need to help. Martha's signboard. We have the Guardian scale, uh, Scarf from Sir Wade. Sid's Goblet. Continental Sensor. Oh yeah, Karen's gift to us. And the Martell Apples, I do remember. And Ambrosius. And Ambrosius. That's it for now. So yeah, we still have a lot of like finalized missions to do. Oh, we gotta go over here. All right, so we need to make for that. Everything else that we need to do outside of the Morble and Doris will be in uh, Dalmechia. So I'm gonna finish out the Morble and Doris's mission and then we'll leave everything. We'll do all the rest of, of that. How do you split the sea? Nectar, I have a question. Do tell. The Morble sightings. I hear your brother isn't a fan of carrots, Koopo. If every carrot of Rosaria is anything like the one that I just got posted on the board, I can see why, Koopo. In the whispering waters of Rosaria? That's funny. That is funny. Okay, so that's the hideaway. Does it now show where I'm going? No, it doesn't. Wait. Which one is it? Three? The Morble? Somewhere in Rosaria. Hold on. Hmm. Something about the Whispering Waters? Do you guys see the Whispering Waters? Huh. Well, we have to go to Martha's Rest anyway, so I'm gonna go there first. In Rosaria. Must be, like, a smaller spot. Oh, Doris! somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. Oh no. I don't think uh, the world seems to be changing she so might not fast be. I can hardly keep up. It says she's I somewhere near here. There's more bad news than good. I bet it's down you can here. Tell that just by looking at people's faces. It's always it like doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh, there she is. Doris! It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. Elegant lady. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held mm. suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. Oh. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? Was it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Okay. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sunbrack. <clears throat> After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort, which she wants me to join. She's she... dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. But she doesn't... I'm going with you. Okay. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Balm Arches, soon to break <laughs> camp. You go on ahead. Well. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay. 
so she wants us to journey to the bomb arches. That's the bomb arches? Okay. Uh, I think this is the... Oh, yeah, I remember this now. All right. Um, I'm surprised that she tried to recruit her. I'm so confused. Does she not know that she's a curse breaker? I guess she wouldn't. If she was an old friend, maybe she only sees her as that. This way. Oh, yes. I'll have to step out and look up exactly where the morble is, because that was a little confusing. I also need to look up why that one side quest is locked to us. That would be so sad if I ended up locking out one quest. I thought, I don't think that quest was even available to us before I left. Hmm. I guess I should have summoned... I can still get Ambrosia. Ambrosia! I love the way that she walks. She's so, like, proud with the big, big steps. The shallop rock, that's what... I'm here! Good. They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, yeah, I wonder? Yeah, yeah. Big questions. We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. Dang. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have come to oh. kill him. She's clever. She must have saw us, though. I mean, Welcome I don't think. To try. I don't think we were trying to hide it, but still. Ah. <sighs> Ow. Ow. It's like I forgot my... I can't switch. There we go. That was really weird. Nice. Who's the protecting person? I can't figure out who's casting the... Whoa. Back out, back out. Get back in. Yeah, I couldn't figure out... Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I was switching over to R2. Okay, I don't think that protects gonna work on him anymore. I love that. Alright, let me go to the guy over here. Oh, ow. Freeze him! The astrologer. An imperial astrologer. Nice. We remember how the astrologers helped the emperor. Oh, I could only grab this guy. Hmm. Should you? I also feel like more guys were there. I only saw like four in the cutscene, and then there were like eight. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, and also, I think after this, we get the patron. This is good, this is good, this is good. You don't pay them enough? So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. She's not I even scared. Surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. What? She Sid. knew who I was. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. <laughs> you know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. Ooh. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman... My former master. Oh my gosh. Once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She wow. raised me like a daughter. And I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible. Surely. We had our fun too. 
That is horrible. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. Mm. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Oh my gosh. Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Mm -hmm. Farewell, master. Oof. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. We're just gonna let her walk away. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. I will. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. Okay, that's All good. Right. That's good. If you're certain. As long as something happens to her. And thank you for everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. Wow. I think that's a unique story, too. I don't think we had really seen that happen. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Yeah. Oh, poor Doris. Yeah, I think that's the first time we heard of them using children to be like a higher... Well, I mean, I think just to somebody we know more closely, but I think we knew that that was a thing that was happening. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Yeah. Oh, and Muleta. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Yeah. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway. That's an understatement of a century? Again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Oh. Cole's like one of the few curse breakers I'm not a big fan of. I think we have one more mission with Doris as well, if I was informed correctly. All right, self-determination is done. We need to go hunt a morble. Um, and we have three quests in Dalmechia. <gasps> Did it happen? No, wait, has it happened? The patron, the patron, the ability points. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, and I need to research. Well, let me go up there and see why that's locked out. Maybe it's something in game that I can figure out, you know? How may I help you today, Clive? How may I help you? Listen to the patron's whispers. Come to claim your just desserts. It takes two to make a thing go right. Natalie reports an unexpected surplus in Dalamil stores, and as a means of showing the town's gratitude for past assistance, has expressed her distinct wish that one Lord Underhill partake in their good fortune. <laughs> All yours. Okay, that's actually so cute. <laughs> Also, these are the very last ones. It doesn't say you can do anything beyond here. So it looks like 2,800, 2,850 will be the max. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, this is locked. Why are you locked? Quest progress is currently restricted. Hmm. Maybe that's one that you have to come back to later. I'm gonna have to look that one up. What is it called? Tears of Mercy. Okay. Tears of Mercy. Guys, real quick, because I'm gonna, if I slay that Morble, I'm gonna have to go to, I'm gonna have to go look it up. Uh, we could do, we could finish Blacksmith Blues or Bachlad. I kind of want to do this one for Theodore real quick. Not that it's going to be real quick, but I think let's do Theodore's, um, start doing some of the outside missions and we'll work our way down. 
Did I get- I got the song from here, yeah. Whoa, Theodore? Oh. Wait, oh, that's- oh, it's showing me something else. It's showing me the other one. Hey, Theodore. Here's Theodore. He did uh, say he would Clive, call upon us again. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. I'm sure. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? Is it quick? Is it really quick? No, I'm just kidding. What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. What? Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. What? Thanks, I, Clive. He's like... I owe you one. He's like 25 feet from her. I like that it's called Trading Places, by the way. It's a... Uh, clever. Clever name. That's so strange. All right. Oh, that woman again. Don't blame yourself, Elle. The fish This monger? is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right? Their fault. Is something wrong? Bonnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. No. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Mm. Their prices have fallen of late. We deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium there. offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. Oh my gosh. You had no opportunity to make a counteroffer. None at all. And we were so close. Oh, Elle? that's hard. What's happened? Oh, and now you walk over here, Theodore? Uh, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. Oh. But I thought we were the only ones the Fist were speaking to about the bearers. How did the consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. Mm. This isn't over. The consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. Yeah. I'm going to Randalar myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? <laughs> How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint oh. near the capital gates. I'll send even let me respond. And request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've Cashlock. waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Okay, oh, this. That's me, is it? Yeah. You're the hired hand, after oh. all. It looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from. From meeting the Silver Peak Consortium, who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. Yeah, so they that they can get her. Sure. Yeah. No, she yeah. said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us then. I can't say I'm not happy yeah. to hear it, but is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. Mm. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll Thanks gather you. my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. It's what she wants you for now. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. <laughs> if she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. Mm. That's interesting. I like how he said, like, now. Because it's true, like, her mind might change, but... He can't, he needs not, oh, it's a whole new area. He doesn't need to worry about that, you know. To I, we need to run out. Oh, this is cool. He's waiting. This will be a whole new area for us too. Wait, am I going the right direction? I don't think I can summon, no, not yet. I have to get outside the main gates. Yeah, we're going to two new locations that we've never been before. Between some of these um, missions. <laughs> Yeah, blacksmith lose and oh, let us through? oh, the refugee still. I'm on my way. No, 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 no. All right, we need a chocobo. Definitely need a chocobo come for on. this. Fly, Ambrosia. No, oh, Ambrosia, come on. 
always running into things, Ambrosia. I'm surprised Torgo can keep up with a chocobo. Let's go bother one of these antelopes. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Dun, 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 okay. To the right. What is that? Oh, that's one of those dragons. The um the worms that we've seen. Hmm. This would be a fun quest. My chocobo's better. Oh, a gill bug too. L. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. Oh. Oh, I thought we were going. Oh, you we're not going to in. Oh. With me. Okay. I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. Mm -hmm. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. Show us the as a scout. The had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy oh, no. in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not neutral. And so we resumed <sighs> our business. I did not Manipulative hesitate. Much? I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. Oh. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. What? We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. Who? The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's what? any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. It's I not. Know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. Just they pay good the money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay. That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your Ooh. organization. My associates will Get be him. sorry to hear that. You shouldn't expect anything less. You made a move against her. To best her. And then you wanted to join you. That's interesting. So on the Continental, bearers are treated differently. Entirely different. Hmm. I wonder who it is, or if that's like I'm a sorry hint to something to save them. down the line. As am I, but I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Oh. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. Which is why you knew about I it. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell oh. me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. Oh, Theodore will be I so happy. I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was yeah, true... that's true. The bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Mm. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. Oh, Theodore. The village is under attack. Oh, no. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Theo and the others are trying to hold them of off course. as best they can, but the odds are against them. They need help. And Porter fast. ran all the way here. Theo. Yes, I will do it. I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. As in, she'll show up I'll right after I slain the last beast. Just Make sure he's safe. But this is good because if you remember, they gave us a seal, and so we need their approval too. Or like, we need to finish out our missions with them. Oops. Active time lore though. Mmm. Wait, mid, why? Wait, daughter of Sid, raised in the hideaway, mid learned all she could from engineering and invention from her father. Her studies all but complete, she put her skills and knowledge to use in the building of enterprise. Wait, why was that? Oh, because that's our, the active time, I'm sorry. I think that, active time lore is often like a Hold combination between your side missions and whatever you're doing main mission wise too all right let me go to oh shoot abandoned fishing village yeah 
the cleft. Time to save them. I did want to check back up on this village. I wonder if they've kind of repaired some of it. Come on. Fly. The wind. Free. All right. Oh no, ignore it, ignore it. Can I fall here? I thought last time I fell there. Wait, did I go the wrong direction? Oh no, circle back, circle back. Circle. <laughs> no, Ambrosia. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, run around to the left. All sorts of minors, Draco's deep. How far is it? Just beyond here, okay. Ignore the goblin. I think this is where I fell. I can fall off the side right here. Yeah. <laughs> tables go. That's so funny to me. I think that's one of the only spots I've been able to find that you can actually like, intentionally fall off a cliff. What's happening here? Bandits? Or a Kashik? It has to be a Kashik, right? Where's Theodore? Up river. Up river. I oh. led the dragon that way to keep it from the village, but the oh. whole area is flooded with ether. We just have to pray he makes it out in one piece. Or it doesn't get infected. Do Toggle with me. Up the river. Can we even go? <gasps> it's a whole new path. All right, run, 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 run. The music right here. Surge's thread. Look at the river. The river reminds me of a for roll up. It's all the way down here. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, none of this is right. A whole dragon? I should have rode my chocobo. Ignore them. Dun, 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 dun. There's multiple creatures along this journey. Where are you? Let me do Garuda so I can grab these birds because I'll just kill them real quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, I need to love. Oh my gosh, they're so far away. There we go. I don't even want to waste my time with these guys. That's my only thing. All right. That works. Just because it, it like recovers really quickly. I think the regeneration on that ability is awesome. Dead. Oh! They step on the bird. Also, we just froze him as he was dive bombing. How cool is that? Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Where is he? Oh, okay. I must have killed him when I froze him. I'll take it. All right, we have a whole dragon to fight. And keep Theodore alive. This is a good ending to their story. I don't even see a dragon here. But this is where he's supposed to be. What? The eath is too thick. These creatures have already turned. Right, but where is he? Alright, hit him with fire. Having multiple ultimates is just. This would just be OP. <laughs> I need to save it though for. I need to save some of it for what's his name? The dragon. Nice. Here it is. Where's Theodore? I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Hmm. Spoke too soon. An ether dragon. Tell me. Or the one that has to well. worry. Oh my gosh. Is it going to be easy? No. Are you swooping? Nice. Alright. Ignition. Oh, we need to tear down its defenses. Oh gosh. Can we do a lightning bolt? Dragons are just a lengthy fight. These beefy boys. Rudin. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. Alright, smack him in the head. Where am I going? Where am I going? Swooping, swooping. Oh, nice. I love how the air, like, blows you back when you land. Nice. Come on. It's close. It, that shreds him, actually. I, yeah, there was... All right. Do this. Do this. I need to get my health back. Nice. Half HP. Rinse and repeat. Ooh. Dragon dance? What is that? We've seen this before, right? Oh, this is when he goes like all crazy. Fireballs. Great balls of fire. Laser beam. Oh, I'm going up. I'm going up. Oh. Oh. Too slow. Flying in. Do this one too. Nice. See him here. All right, he temporarily went down, and I couldn't Garuda him. That's the only problem. Is I forget to be on Garuda when it happens. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, I didn't even try to freeze him because I just assumed he was too large to freeze. We can max it too. We can master it, which increases the duration. Let's go. Yes. Clive? Yes. Theodore, you had me worried for. No. 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 We have to get you out of here. I don't think he can come back from this. I think it might be a little too late for that. No. Bearer or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. Oh. For keeping Belle's dream. Oh. <laughs> Theodore. No, I don't want to fight him. We've never seen one of them go like that. Oh. This is a horrible <laughs> quest. <laughs> No. <laughs> Theodore. Make me do this. Stop it, Theo! Theodore didn't deserve Stop! this. What is there all of a sudden no either place? Oh no, it's still there. He's turned. And so will you. Oh. oh. I wonder if there's a way to bring them back. Sure. Take care of my sister. Vidal, wait. He fought it. Goodbye. Oh. No. <laughs> He 
thought too that she wanted to join the consortium. He had no idea that she didn't really want to do that. That wasn't her dream. Oh, that was hard. <sighs> Even though we didn't spend a lot of time with him or her, like they kind of were like later game characters, but they were still really awesome. And that just like, think about, I guess like we're getting firsthand experience of what it would be like to see your loved ones turned. But I think that's the first time we've seen an Akashic turn and still have some level of consciousness. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. <sighs> that was true bravery, he showed. Yeah. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. Mm. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place. Against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. Mm. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? Yeah. You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. Really? And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. <laughs> Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer. In more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. Wow. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken mm. and devoted myself to the family business instead. That honesty, Val. It's not easy to admit. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. Mm. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. <sighs> he was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him. And that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. <laughs> you loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> he really did think of others before himself. Just like she thought about him before herself. Oh, that one is a really hard story. You guys know, like, I have siblings and I love them more than anything. I know Theo wanted me to move on, but I'm Aww. staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. Yeah. We can help people, save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing Aww. what we do, ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be. 
bringing smiles to people's faces, just like we always have. We talk about And to Theo's, wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Mm -hmm. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. But I think that might be the end of our story with her. But we'll see. Did she give us the sign in? Yeah. Yeah, that's the end of their story. Or the end of our missions with them. Porters of wide renown, they are based in Boklad, where traders from across Valisthea flock to browse the Thousand Tables and transport their wares either throughout the Dominion or on down the Crystal Road to the lands beyond. That was a really difficult quest, you guys. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Um, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll finish on with the last of our side missions, and then we'll probably call this video there because this will be almost four hours. Okay. All right, so I think Tears of Mercy is officially locked out to me because I'm pretty sure I had to do it before all of this. But I'm going to keep watching it, and I don't know, hope for the best. Oh. I hope this is taking me to the right spot in Tabor. Man, that last quest was really difficult. It was really difficult. I also will be so sad if that quest is locked out to us because I will have done almost every single side quest except for that one. And I don't know how because I thought I looked it up and I didn't remember seeing that one be like a lockoutable account. Wait, hold on. Shows uh, it's just up the way. Oh, hold on. Is it... Wait a minute. I think it's down here. Hmm. I wonder what this one is. I forget what this one's called. Oh, cereal. Oh, duty undying. Okay. Oh, this is the um, Phoenix. Is there aught the undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Yeah. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret oh. to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Mm. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Dangerous, Ultima's though. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants yeah. of the fallen civilization. As if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov, a small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored mm -hmm. to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. It'd be encouraging. This All will right. be a good quest, and I think we'll be quick. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank hmm. you. I will. Maybe we haven't been there yet, I then. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Aww. All right, prioritize that bad boy. Did we get anything new lore-wise from that? No. Yeah, they're just showing main mission stuff minus... Ooh. A village built around an airship. Oh, Valisthean Fabulosity. Okay, the Ledgers of Gilbert and the Great Lender. Sounds like another Lost Wing. I hope the inhabitants are just as friendly. Oh, so we haven't been here then. No, we haven't. <gasps> okay, let's go this way. Oh, cool. See, I was thinking that we had been there, but I guess not. But since we're here, we might as well do Blacksmith Blues because we're right at this gate. So we'll do the other one in a second. I'm here. Kicked out already. <laughs> no, this charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Always says not match anyway. that. He 
You look like trouble. I'm I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Uh -huh. You've changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, <laughs> I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. That's what it takes? Okay. Just... No, just... Don't go starting anything with the chief. <laughs> I actually like his personality, yeah, though. I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? That'll do. He's like, are you happy? You got me here. Go on then. <gasps> Whole new village. Much obliged. Oh my goodness, do you think there'll be a new... Um... Person to buy? Well, this might open up all new side quests too, by the way. <laughs> Wait a minute, it looks... Very similar to... Well, I guess it just had that upper... Area that Bachlad had too. Where we did the wine and the beer and stuff. Or the wine and the So meat. this is Dravoshed. Not much going on, is there? It's the chickens! Down. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Oh. Clive. You're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out yeah. now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. Forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. They were... I, I'm guessing they grew up together then. Do you see the chickens? Also, wait. Okay, it's up here. <gasps> Vendor! Vendor! Well, Vendor! Forges, how are we gonna earn our if we can't fire the forges, really? <gasps> Vendor! Would you like to see my wares? Yes! 40,000! Thank you. The lion and the hare. Yes! Alright, another one bites the dust. Let me go ahead and sell, um... These. Thanks. And then sell... Mm, where it be? Mm. Gill bugs. All the bugs. Anything else you Also, don't what want? is this? Used for crafting. Okay, don't sell that. Black blood sell. I'll take it off your hands. Goblin coin. Four Anything goblin else coins? you don't want? I think that's it. May right. we meet again. I wonder how many we have left. Oh, also this. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm going to take your precious materials. Another goblin coin. Great. Forge up on the hill. Wow, hi. <gasps> What's up here? Wow, it's, yeah, Baklat's at least a little bit more colorful. Oh, a dog. You know, in terms of having more life and hustle bustle. But that was a trading town, yeah, if this is a smithing town. It kind of looks as dreary as, I know, I'm heading up there in a second. It looks as drab as, um, Tabor's. <laughs> the crows. Magic dash, all right. Sniffing out all the loot. As a loop bell and dude. Man who closed the doors on his great grandfather's forge. Oh. Hard times. Oh, the O, and he's the last forge running. Hotter. Hotter, damn it. Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Oh my gosh. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Ah, uh, okay. Gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. So You're not welcome can't here. Get out. get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? Oh, no. He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest... You take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! 
These bearer's flames are next to bloody useless. We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Damn. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. Wow. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's mad that he left. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. He stayed in this town. All right. Because somebody needed to take on the forge, I bet. And Blackthorn wanted to leave. Mm. That's not good. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. I mean, I'm surprised that there's even three bearers left. If all the other forges have shut down as well. Do they really not know how to supply their Mama? own? Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? Oh. He's helping the Chief with something very important. You go back inside now. Oh. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. Let me guess. Yeah. So <laughs> piss off. As a personal favor to anything him, different. Yes. So what well, do we do? At least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? Please. If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Mm -hmm. Dravosht. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. That's what I was leaning, yeah. All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind... Are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, mm. whose work is quick and cheap. The Catch kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit, and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. Mm. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. The Ravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. Maybe we can show him how we it do it without on how you magic. Look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. Mm -hmm. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. August. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Oh. That's a good way of looking Clive. at it. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So... Do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? Absolutely. The way I see it, it's your decision to make. It's about time. Well Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This I'm surprised August has that point of view. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. Mm -hmm. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valestia yes. from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Oh, another Bravo good side mission. Bravo's the world that is possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it <laughs> that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Yeah. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. The chicken. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Find oh. me some salamander skin. I need for leather the for bellow. the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily, time for a spot of Oh, I didn't mean man. to. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. I accidentally put my hand back down into that. All right, we need to, oh, okay. Easy enough. 
I really like this mission. I mean, I know I'm sounding like a broken record. I keep saying, but I know that it could, you could look at it, at it as exhausting and like, look, I'll be the first to say that personally, I do find the dialogue sometimes on some of the side Let's missions go. seems to go on just a little bit longer than it needs to. Like there's something to be said for brevity and I'm not one to, I'm not like a shining beacon of that myself, but I do like that when we're talking about quests. Like sometimes I feel like they tell us what they need, but then they continue giving more context. But with that context, it does help you see that there's real emotions beside and behind every single side mission. They're not just copy, repeat, go fetch this, go kill this. Like you're working, every side mission works to create a better Valisthea in so many different ways. So yeah, I'm happy to do them. Let's make this quick. I'm gonna be so we? upset if I missed one. Can you imagine? I'm sure you guys probably already told me on when you guys see the video, the previous video. Uh, 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 on. Uh, Bring him down. Uh, Freeze him. Uh, <laughs> it's getting ridiculous, honestly. Like, my constant ability to limit break. Like, I feel like I'm so strong, I can take out these guys like it's nothing nowadays. Oh, he's mid flight. Freezing the dragon while he's doing the fire breathing though, that's so cool. Ow. I'm getting my bug kick. I'm gonna do a high push in there. Nice. Nice. Trying to get a parry on him. Cannot get it through. Frostbite. Nice. All right, we got the bellows. -na 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 -na. It's fine. I'll just do it in my head. I've been doing it the whole playthrough anyway. Salamander skin. Some species of salamander are are wont to shed their tails in order to escape predators. Alas, all those of sufficient size to provide the unbellished, unblemished stretch of skin that Sid's bellows require have no predator but mankind and are dis, uh, disinclined to be part of their appendage. Mm. I dare say that would be enough for a decent to part bellows. with their appendage. I just butchered that in every way possible. And now we can fast travel back. Okay. Another mission bites the dust. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. And I guess he started with just any it? random, yeah. This is gonna be so cool. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. I wanna see the demonstration. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then. Time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Let's see it. Sometime later. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't hot think it would work. Blacksmith. But it's hot enough, all right. And without a single crystal in sight. Mm. You know what this means, don't you? Back in business. <laughs> I do, yeah. Travage is saved. Woo! Sorry about it, Ian. Yeah, Zoltan. I uh didn't take back everything I said. Okay. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. 
Give this to him, would you? What is it? Head Cole Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer. Really? It'll do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. And this will help him. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since really? the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. Hmm. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I like that he saved that for him. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Blacksmith 4. <laughs> well, you know what they say? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. Oh, is that what they these say? These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters That's... is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though. So why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. <laughs> see that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. Okay. All right. We'll go back to the hideaway oh, after nice all of them. Surprise for him. The pit coal cinder, blacksmith blues. All right, we'll deliver that after. We're gonna get back in here. We need to. Okay, we're gonna get back on Chocobo back. I actually like that a little bit too, though, because we're not getting exactly the mission that you thought it would be. Like you thought we were gonna get his forgiveness, maybe at least I did. But I like that it kind of changed it up Foster. and. Kind of shows you the outcome's not always what you expect it to be. Um, I think we're going straight. There's like a pit right there. We need to go all the way down. But that, wait a minute. I think I'm in the wrong. Because that shows it. Uh, it mm, I think we need to go down here. So we need to go from the gilded path. My bad. I think we need to go up and around. But I thought that was blocked off. I don't, I can't remember. There's so many paths. And we still haven't explored all of Dalmachia. So we are headed to the right and then down Fly this Ambrosia. It must be another big stretch of desert like the other one. Like the Oasis. Hell divers. All right. Get out of here. This spot? Whoa, okay, this is cool. Wait, maybe I just forgot to go down here. <gasps> oh, no way. Titan's Wake, yeah. I never went down here. Hell Guru. Everything has hell in its name here. All right, there's three paths. Let's take uh, the roundabout. The roundaboot. Dodge these, but I think there might be something back here. Or if I had to guess, it would be maybe a... Uh... No, just, just goblin muggers. Really? I guess I thought that there would be a... Oh my goodness. Is he blocking something? He might be guarding something, but I don't need it that badly. There's nothing I need this badly <laughs> to have to fight all of them. Mm -hmm. Nice flight. I'm glad I did that before I... Yeah, before I went all the way back down. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> I gotta get that one done because they're taking up so much space. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, nice, and there's an ob obelisk here. Okay, at least they disappear after a while. And now we have a fast travel. I'm here. <gasps> Wait, village? Songs. We also need to go to the machine and see which ones we have left. We might only have like five left. Yeah. Oh, and we still have a, oh no, it's not a village. Okay, I don't think there's a traitor here. Oh no. Muggers? 
Muggles? No, I'm just kidding. Oh no. The ancients. You'll pay for this. Yeah. It's so interesting how they look. There may still be survivors. Shoot, they've got protect. Cast this. That means probably new enemies approaching. There's one last one. Wait, what does Shiva's look like? That's cool. Little icicles. All right, yeah, there might be a couple more. But all the graves. Oh my goodness. I know I'm gonna, I'm going, oh, fool's gold. That Wait, Save that's so leader. cool. Ow. Oh, ow. Gosh. Not a good idea, not a good idea. Oh, the enchilada attack. Too slow. Yeah. Nice. Try. Nice. I just need to like evade them. Nice. All right, let's do thunderstorm. Bring him down. Bring him down. Garuda grab. I need to level her up after this fight. Remind me. Well, I say remind me because I'm streaming right now, but I need to level her up when I can. Boom. New enemies too! Are you kidding me? Really? It wasn't enough to have one? I have... Sorry, y'all. Oh my gosh. Nice. Nice. I'm getting in my butt. Hand it to me. Frozen. Ow! I gotta take high potions because I just got stuck on that. That was a hard fight. I had to use two high potions right there. I'm getting hit by that. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's kind of, sometimes I feel like it's so blindingly bright when you're fighting them that I just miss what ability they're about to toss out. I need to pay attention to the move that, oh. There, Should there. have stayed in the past. No survivors. These must be Cyril's colleagues. Mm. You mm. have our thanks, stranger. Oh, there were some survivors. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. Undying. I did what? not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you Undy not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. What? You call that a mercy? What? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins, a duty of the highest import, yeah, as I'm sure but... you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Just checking Cyril in. told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does mm. in ours. Not exactly a feel-good quest. But nothing involving an Ultima. One thing to lay down your life for another. But for a survey. A 
I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. Why, Ray? Does he say anything else? Think no more of us, my lord. Only deliver our findings to the bearer of the burning quill. Torgo? All right. Well, let's head back over here. I think there's two undying uh, quests. I think there's two. So I don't think we're going to get anything. I think from our blacksmith finishing that quest, we might get a collectible, though. Oh, and we still have Lubor's. So we need to do... That might be one of Lubor's last quests. Oh, we still have to get Lubor's seal, so yeah. Could be. Cyril. Ah, oh, you are returned, my lord. I... collected your colleague's preliminary findings. Here, take them. A scroll containing the preliminary findings of the Undying's ill-starred venture into the ruins of Kritov, sealed with a wax imprint of a phoenix feather. Well, that's cool. I love a wax seal. So cool. My thanks. I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril. Your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. Mm. Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every Undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable, my lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. Mm -hmm. The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations, and your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose, and mm. that purpose alone. Cyril. I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. I wouldn't want it that. does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. That's so true. Because how many, how Think many not only of how you can serve the servants Phoenix, do you have to begin with? But how Joshua would want you to serve him. Oh. Please. Yeah. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my Unsolicited lord. Unsolicited advice. If you will permit me to respond. Our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the Undying will do what we believe oh. is right to fulfill our duty unto him. As first shield to the Phoenix, I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. Yeah. I do. Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together. Yeah. Yeah, I think we have another quest with them, but that one is very conflicting. I get it though. Ice Age, wait, reduces Ice Age cooldown. Okay, I do want all of Shiva's. I actually wouldn't mind going and buying some from Karen. Hmm, it's an interesting group. I, they come in very late in the game as well, but I guess they are just working in the shadows, right? All right, y'all, let's go do Lubor's, finish Blacksmith Blues, go to Harpocrates, and then that will conclude this episode. I know this one's gonna be pushing um, like four hours, but it's, it's good. It's good. Plus, it's I, before I can go on with Across the Narrow, I have to finish all the side quests. Hey, <laughs> Live. To what do I owe the pleasure? You asked me I here. I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, Aww. all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our nice. stores are full, and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Nice. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. <laughs> are you a lord? 
Lubor's going to be one too. Is he? They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear Is he child. Is become a mayor? And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. Oh but my gosh. If the people wish me to lead them, I shall. Tell me I get and to lobby point. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. <laughs> Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front oh. might have caught the bandits' attention. More bandits. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws. Oh, no. And they grow more organized by the day. But we'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are. Last time you had me. More. Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization <laughs> in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Yes, I think I can. How could, How I, could refuse? I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my Lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the Desert Gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go oh, and speak with him. Oh, does he? Da -na -na. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we're going through What's here. The difference between a lord and a, a, lord a, and a mega. Sounds like we have some competition. Yeah, there's only room for one person with the title outlaw. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned like to Costas by now. I did. Then I came back. <laughs> I've developed something of a fondness for the place. Who oh, have you? And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. I was gonna say, yeah. What does he want you to do? Go he asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it the with dunes. me. The dunes. Now, a fighting mission, I can get down with this. I feel like I've been doing so many um, other ones, which is good, which is good. I don't want them to all feel like fighting missions, but I love how like straightforward, simple these are. Oh, and we still have the Morble. I forgot about the Morble too. Faster. Go buy a Morble. Whee! Whee! There's something really fun about just jumping over the enemies. I have to look up where the Morble is. I completely forgot about that. What we'll do is I'll go back to the hideaway, finish Blacksmith Blues, look up where the Morble is, and like basically just show you guys the Morble fight. Come on, Antonio. Then we'll pick up from there. That way you guys don't have to see the the whole process of getting there and stuff. Kind of like how I do the hunt. And we're not going to do hunt board quests today. The hunt boards will stay there till the end. I think until the end. Freeze him. Oh. There's something really like nice about freezing somebody to death. Level up. I know I always think about a mid fight. I oh. I know mid fight every time. Come here! 
You don't have to run to me. I'll get you to come over here. Lead foot pad. You're finished. Nice. Oh, Toro like went through his body. That was so cool. Okay, before we go back, I think it's gonna force me back. Hold on, I think it's gonna force me back. Yeah, it's a cutscene. We'll see. I better let Victor know. There Sid, might be more. Where oh. are you? Oh, we're under attack. Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, yes, but they did then. That's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. Of course. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. What? They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? what? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalimil. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic <gasps> and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. Interesting. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. It doesn't take away that he's Still, a great person. All those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. Okay, One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. Imagine. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. Yeah. You're right. Oh my goodness. I mean, I do, I get that, like, if you're trying to be the mayor and just a person in general, like, lie, like the whole lying to all of them, but they would have seen him differently. And I can't, like, you can't fault him because the world worked differently. I mean, like, think of all the good, like, it doesn't and negate all the good he's done. Knows. I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Mm. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. But now it should be We're free. We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. Mm. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. Aww. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. Wow. All lies are wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. And yet y'all are thriving because Once of him. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince yeah. the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That's all right. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. It's gonna be really difficult. I'm glad to you do. agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a downright born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad okay. and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. Yeah. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Although, if I may, I find it weird that, like, if he knew this and was trying to hide this so well, I would have had a crystal on the hip like everybody does, Why you know? Why do they always have to make it's interesting? I knew all along that he was playing us for fools. I don't think and that we fell was... for it. We followed him. A bearer. I think it's just their pride that's wounded that a bearer could be more intelligent than all of them put together. <sighs> I Forgive love her dress. Forgive me for dress. disturbing you, but on her dress. could I have a moment of your time? A wee moment. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Of the League of Merchants. <sighs> That's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. 
and... He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what if his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. More Might than that this. not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. See, it's pride. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil. And they will thank you not to get involved. I shouldn't have saved y'all. I should have taken Lubor back to the hideaway and let them just fend for themselves. Ungrateful. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. Mm -hmm. For now, we should report back to Lubor. Hopefully there's more we can do on right. this quest. Like, maybe this is it for now, but we get to come back and see that, you know, they cool down and things got better. Why the hell would Victor take the bear aside? <sighs> I'm sorry, Lubor, you don't deserve I this. I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But... Poor Lubor. But... Perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> yeah. You mustn't think like that, Lubor. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. What? But Lubor. Rosina would often tell me... That steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. Mm. To yourself be true. That was her point. He sounds menacing Rather right now. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. I see. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. Hmm. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so oh, that the people no. of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll okay. need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Oh, again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. No. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change yeah. their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? Uh. I thought you were better than this. Mm. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Oh, Victor, Victor. Has... Forget it. Do what you will. And I don't blame him for wanting to lean into that role. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Mm. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. I don't think our quest with Lubor's done. Right there. There's got to be more with I have him. Packing to do. If there's anything I can do, anything, I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. No, oh, Lubor. That's it for now, though. That didn't feel good. Lines in the sand. Actually, well, well named as well. I think we get another. Oh, and a level up. We gotta get to 50, y'all. Gotta get to 50. All right. Onward to Blacksmith Blues. Yeah, I mean, I can actually, like, it is interesting because I do feel like I can see both. I can see the side that really leans towards um, 
feeling betrayed, right? There is a betrayal there. But also for all that he's done, that should account for something, you know? Like, I just feel like he's done more good than bad and they've just missed him like that so quickly. Uh, I need to go to the extraordinary horrible. Oh, don't tell me we run out of Papiona. Well, let's talk to him first. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have to hell welcome. <laughs> the whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Oh. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pit coal. Pit coal cinder. How'd you come by this? What can he make with it, though? Oh. Oh. And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Mm. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? No. Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, mm -hmm. but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? <laughs> he was gonna, he spent yeah. spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds He's like I better get to work. A too much. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. But I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. <laughs> I really like him. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. Oh, absolutely. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. I wonder if we got a seal. Well, you wouldn't get a seal. Is that the last blacksmith blues? Maybe not. What is this? Diagram detailing steps to craft a belt? <gasps> Recipe and love. Very nice. There's still so many more like achievements to do though. That's weird. Okay, so we can definitely do that. But before we do that, we are going to finish the very last of the quests, which is wait, there's another blacksmith blues. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Y'all, we're going to leave that one for the next video. <laughs> like, We're going to have to we'll leave these two. I think this is fine. I'm going to leave these two for the next video. Because that's because uh, if I'm already going to have another job to do in the hideaway when I start the next video, we might as well just stop here and then we'll start with those two quests at the very beginning of next episode. But real quick, let's read up on Hippocrates and then I think that will be a video. I think that One will be that. To you, my friend. I keep thinking I'm going to get more main quest stuff done, but guys, but the amount of side quests and main quests are just night and day difference. I know I could probably do a lot of them at the very end, but still. I don't okay. believe you've read this particular chapter before. I think I get to level up. What am I? Living library. I quite the find for you today. I am a living library. Okay, I will do those what over here. What subject shall we consider today? <gasps> There's a new bestiary too. Oh, Shiva. Okay, wait. All right, you guys. Let's do this. Reading. Shiva, yeah. The Warden of Ice, among whom the dominant of Shiva would be born. Tales of the Ice Queens of Old North are passed down among the men and women of the Northlands to this day. So cool. Guys, two, three, four. Four beasts left. Mysteries of the Realm. Zip to the end. All right, we've got the primogenesis. Something updated. The imbalance in the ether that resulted fruitfully. Uh, not only sapped the potency of crystal and magic in those lands. We saw that. Turning men and beasts into mindless, merciless Akashic, all to sap the wills of mankind and make all of humanity into his soulless servants. I guess that was like the additional part. 
All right. The fellow feelings that bind a person to those who they love and who love them. So long as these bonds remain strong, so too does the human's grip upon their will. Ultima cast primogenesis in order to sever these bonds of consciousness, that humanity might lose their wills and turn Akashic, and that his vessels might be perfected. I, I thought that the bonds of consciousness was way more relevant to, I thought it was very focused on Clive, but in actuality it is for any human, uh, which we see right there. Will, that which separates human from animals and is given shape by consciousness, a sense of self and a freedom of thought. Even when one is deprived of other freedoms, it is one's will that drives the pursuit of true liberty. To Ultima, however, humans will Wait, human will is a sickness that prevents them from taking their proper divine form, that of the Akashic who blindly serve his own purposes. To this end, he casts primogenesis, transforming much of humanity into soulless servants. Mythos. All right, so it's the vessel of limit, limitless power. He identifies Clive as this, which we know. Ultima manipulates his servants into pitting Clive against the other dominance, that he might drink from their strength and bring Mythos closer to perfection. And he is so close. Like, he's actually... How does um, Odin see that he's not... I guess Odin knows he's getting played into that. The greens, the leafy green vegetable loved by chocobos, such the bird's attraction to its scent, traders who transport them on a wagon load must seal the boxes tightly lest they should find themselves accosted by a flock of wild boss on the road, bows on the road. Though most of the greens are grown for chocobo fodder, they can be eaten by humans too, provided one trims away the toughest fibers and boils the fleshy leaves into salt water until soft. Yeah, they look like they need to be boiled for a while. All right, a curious clockwork contraption that is able to perform several different musical compositions at the flick of a switch. It was designed and constructed by young Mid, and Sid labeled it her true first masterpiece of engineering. He hid his own masterpiece inside it. The final part of his daughter's world needed to be, wait, wait, need to complete the calibration of mithril engine that the two designed together. Slave traders, those who make their coin by buying and selling bearer slaves. While the trade is highly regulated, a slave is a valuable asset, and so there is a thriving black market in stolen and unregistered bearers. Doris's former master was just such a black market trader, who trained her abducted charges as killers for hire, knowing that if the branded was caught in the act, their ownership records could not lead the constabulary to her door. Constabulary. We're actually filling this up really fast. Wait, there was one. Did I say another one? No. There it is, Akashic. Something's updated with it. Uh, usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Though most regard men who turn Akashic as not but mindless monsters, Barnabas and Seepner claim that they are in fact divine. But we did see that there was more consciousness to that the unbranded most bearers are identified soon after birth and marked with a slave brand but a fortunate few are not and remain unbranded an unbranded bearer can live lives like any other man or woman as long as they knack as long as their knack for magic remains a closely guarded secret should it be revealed however they are denounced as liars and imposters and dealt with the severest punishment magitech a term that appears in early histories of the fallen civilization and describes their highly advanced magical technology, of which the airship is best known example. They also produced weapons all but indistinguishable from living beings, yet those destructive power rivaled that of the gods of legend. The early chroniclers labeled these beasts as iconoclasters, and it is from this term that the icons of present day take their moniker. Hmm. What you know? Icon, shattered aspects of Ultima's power given flesh by human hosts. It is the two Wardens of Fire, Phoenix and Ifrit, who together comprise its perfect form. The icons of lesser elements serving as sacrifices to Mythos' altar in order to test and bolster the vessel's strength. Wow. And we have one left right there. All right, lay of the lamb, baby. Look at this. <gasps> we are so close. All right, hold on. We have so many. The true unity. Okay. Uh, the alliance was disbanded in 860 and lighted the attack on Phoenix Gate and the dispute over Sam Bricoy's capability in the affair. Ah, uh, so there used to be, yeah. So Rosary, Demeki, and Sam Brick, yeah. That's right. I do remember learning of that. The Bank of Gilbert. I must have not read last time. 
A folk religion popular in the free cities of Camber, Gilbert the Golden was a legendary trader who not only introduced the concept of fiat currency to Valisthea, but founded Camber's very first merchant's guild. When the same guild was later entrusted with administering Valisthean's common currency, they chose to name Gil in honor of their revered founding father. The faith is organized largely along the lines of a commercial organization, and prayers tend to be aimed at bringing prosperity and success in business. Right, a mother crystal that is believed to have stood in the area in the northeastern part of Dalmechia. Legends tell that it was destroyed in battle between men and gods, a battle so ferocious that it left behind the great crater that can be seen today. It's interesting that that only just now popped up. Like sometimes I feel like we've seen something for a while, but it doesn't pop up for a while. The Naldian Narrow, a region of the sea south of the Strait of Arutha, lying between the continents of Storm and Ash. The trading ports of the free cities of Camber dot its western shores, making it the busiest stretch of commercial water in all of Valisthea. Though her currents are swift, storm-free skies, and an abundance of marine life allow the Narrow to serve as a source of much of the region's food. The Fish, the Silver Peak Consortium, those bastards. One of the largest and most prestigious trading houses in Dalmechia, who sought to scout Eloise. Their mercantile operations extend far beyond the borders of the Republic, as Eloise learned when they stepped in at the last moment to purchase the bearers for which the Crimson Caravan had long been bargaining with the army, and sell them on to a trader from the Outer Continent. In truth, they had been interested in the trade from the very start, and only withheld making their own offer as a courtesy to Eloise one that was rescinded after she failed to respond positive to their offer. She didn't want to do what they wanted, and then she suffered for it. The Shadow Coast, the forbidding cliffs that line the Naldia Narrow on the ash side of the channel. Though viable um, ascents exist, their numbers are few and the paths narrow and perilous. That said, they have more than once been used as a staging ground for covert incursions into the kingdom. Now the land above, having been all but consumed by the blight, it is the only, it is only the boldest of adventurers who seek it out. Oh man. The South Southwest Alliance. An entente formed between, okay, Dalmechi and the Duchy of Rosaria in the year 850, with the aim of preventing the free cities of Camber from claiming independence from the Republic. While the alliance eventually became a three-way affair, which we read about, um, yeah, when Sam Breck joined, bonds between Dalmex and Rosarians remained particularly strong, with Rosaria sharing the secrets of vital techniques such as irrigation and free flow of various diplomats between the two nations. Dravaz, Dravazid? I cannot say that right. A town located in the rugged mountainous mining region of central Dalmechia. It is known for its ironwork and armor and weaponry forged here has long enjoyed a reputation as the realm's finest. This is no small part due to the quality of ore that the mines produce, as well as the veritable army of local blacksmiths whose skills are said to be unrivaled, except with each other. Kretov. A small Dalmechian village of bean farmers, when it wasn't tracking that they were bean farmers, and goat herds built in the shadow of the fallen ruins. Though located at the edge of the fields of Korava on a caravan trail that runs through Titan's Wake to the free cities of Cranver, it has historically received few visitors, as most merchants choose instead to take the less perilous gilded path north. It receives even fewer now that the plague has taken lives of most of its residents. Mm. That's almost done, by the way. And then this is done... This is done. That's done. Oh my gosh, except for the Undying. Wait, that was our last one. The Undying was our last one, right? I think so. A secretive order who served the Lord of the Rosar uh, Lords of Rosaria from the shadows. They revered the mighty Phoenix and its dominant and once presided over the rites of the ancestral communion at Phoenix Gate. Few outside the order know of its existence. Even among the highest ranking members of Rosarian nobility, their loyalty to his grace, Joshua Rosfield, is absolute. And none among them would hesitate to lay down their lives for his sake. At his command, their efforts are currently devoted to uncovering the truth behind the mysterious being known as Ultima. Woo! All right, we do have updates on a lot of people. We'll get these real quick. I'm just gonna see whatever, whoa. I'm sorry, I kept scrolling through. I'm just going to look for the parts that we haven't seen before. 
All right. Ultima requires a vessel in which we know Clive's curious ability to absorb the powers of other icons suggests that he is the very mythos that Ultima had long awaited. He wills Clive to absorb the other icons that his vessel might be perfected. Oh, we finally got a name from her. An orphan girl who pays for her bread by making and selling medicines. Her travels took her from Dalmechia to the Crystalline Dominion, where she nearly lost her life when the city was all but destroyed by Bahamut. After the flames died down, she labored to mend the wounds of injured townsfolk, eventually coming across the collapsed Prince Dion, who she nursed back to health. Sabine! Only daughter of the Duke of Oriflam, oh, who escaped from the disaster at Twinside and took refuge in Northreach. Her extensive education in all matters spiritual and political, as well as her overbearing demeanor, rivaled that of her father. Her opinion on the Duke's plan to fortify Northreach at the town folk's expense, however, differs from his greatly, and she attempts to enjoin Isabel's help to rally the people against him. Hold on. Guys, we're only missing like four. We're only missing four people. Oh my goodness, the High Cardinal. After the fall of Crystalline Dominion and the collapse of said government, his eminence reappeared in Northreach. Now going both, wait, wait, now going by his noble title, the Duke. He drafted both the soldiery and the common folk into his plan to turn the town into a new capital for a new Sambrek. All right, Sir Wade. Yes, merely lead his guardians against their enemies, but to lead his village in pursuit of a brighter future for man and bearer both. Such a good man. Zoltan, the feared and respected chief of the smithing town of Drav Dravods, Dravods, where he and Blackthorn learned their craft after the master who the two apprentices print uh, oh, apprenticed under breathed his last breath. They came to blows over the future of the town and exchanged nary a word since. Renz, an orphan who lost his parents to the Iron Blood's latest crusade, he fled towards Dalamil, finding a new family in Drika. A fellow orphan along the way, the two were starving by the wayside when Lubor found them and took them in, adding a new elder brother to the Patchwork family. He is frankly he is frank and forceful soul who enjoys nothing more than watching the townspeople at work, helping them with their tasks. All right, we actually have a couple more to click on. So what I'm going to do to the shelves is save that for next time because I think we're getting really close to having everything. So I do want to save some for the end. I'm not going to do that at the beginning, but basically what I'm going to do is at the beginning of next episode, we'll do the two side missions, the Morble, and we'll finish up Blacksmith Blues. And I wanted to see how many we had left. And then we'll get into main mission and we'll save some more of the reading for later. Hold up. One, two three four all right four left we have four left what do you recommend oh my goodness all right it's happening there's so much to do but i just want to make sure because i'm i'm trying to not keep these too too long so i'm weary that i'm getting there so i'm gonna pause right there i will pick up in the next episode holy cow we've got odin's fight on the horizon like i think it's gonna be next episode as soon as we hit the narrow again and we try to take out this last mother crystal i think it's all going down um I think we've still got a little bit of time till we fight Ultima, but next we have to fight o Odin. But also we need to remember what does that do for us? Because Ultima wants us to take down all of the icons and be as powerful as possible. But I also feel like my conscious ties to my loved ones is as strong as ever. So I don't really see how that's gonna work in his favor whatsoever. But um, I think that's only strengthened too from doing side missions, I hope at least. I think this one's still locked out, by the way. Yeah, it's still locked out. I think it's actually gonna be locked out for the rest of the game, which is so sad now. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We are getting down to the last couple episodes, so I am just trying to take it all in and enjoy it while I have it. But like I said, it's not blacksmith blues, it's finishing up game blues for me. Um, but it's not over yet, so I gotta remember that. I know I keep talking about it as if it's gonna be next episode, and I know it's not. So, guys, I will see y'all in the next episode, though. Thank you so much for tuning in and for your time, as always. All right, bye!